Hey everyone, it's Erin from Erin Bun Paints. Welcome back to another acrylic painting tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you step by step how to recreate the beautiful painting beside me. It's called Sunflower Fields. I use five different paint colors in today's painting. We have red, yellow, phthalo blue, black, and white. And I use my usual three brushes. I have the large flat brush, I have the medium round brush, and I have the small round brush. As usual, this footage was taken from a recent live stream of mine. If you'd like to tune in live next time to have the opportunity to paint with me, ask me questions, chat with everybody else painting together, you've got two places you can go. You can go to Twitch at twitch.tv slash Paints. That's where I stream both my painting tutorials and then everyday painting content throughout the week. Or you can go to Facebook at facebook.com slash Paints. That's where I stream just my step-by-step -step tutorials live on Facebook Live. Otherwise, check me out on Instagram, instagram.com slash Paints. And of course, you can check me out right here on YouTube. It's where I post all of my past tutorials. If you don't want to miss an upcoming tutorial, I would recommend subscribing. All right, that's all for now. Enjoy the tutorial. All right, guys, so let's uh, look at the first step. The first step, we're just going to go at the top here. We have a nice light blue color. Um, and I did diagonal for whatever reason. I don't really know why. See how there's just some diagonal streaks here? I just wanted to change it up. That's what we're going to do. So I would recommend grabbing your biggest brush today. Again, I use a large flat brush. It is a size 12 for those wondering, but any big brush will do. A paint roller, grab a paint roller, just put it on. I'm going to dip it in my water. I almost spilled a paint bottle. Uh, I'm going to pour white on my plate. If you haven't done that, you can do that. And I'm going to pour blue and I'm going to mix them together. So I'm making a nice sky blue. You can see it's very light. So I'm using mostly white with just a little bit of my phthalo blue. This mic is so weird here, you guys. It's pretty weird. I feel like a radio announcer. Hello. But I'm glad it's working better, honestly. Please, uh, please let me know if it ends up getting a little weird when I go back and forth, but I'll try and just uh, step up my voice game, you know, and keep it consistent. Welcome back to Volcano Plate. Volcano Plate did attend the painting giveaway today. I was very excited that people were able to uh, sanitize and then pick up the plate just to really feel how heavy it was. So some of you now have an appreciation for how dang heavy this thing is. Excellent. So again, I'm going to put this on diagonally. That's not necessary. I just wanted to switch it up, I guess, that day. I was just like, no more horizontal for me. I want diagonal. I'm just putting this in about the top quarter. Let's double check that. Yep. Top quarter, you could go maybe a little lower to be safe, just so there's no gaps, okay? And again, I'm doing a nice light blue that was lots of white, little bit of blue, little bit, little bit. Simon, if you haven't checked out Joyce, go check out Joyce right now. Right now. If you like my streams, you'll like hers too. Just saying. You finished your whale yet? Joyce? And jellyfishies? Wow, lots of comments, Facebook. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Val. Welcome Faye from Texas, first time. Patty, hello. Cute. Lulu, it is recorded. It will be on YouTube in the next day or two. YouTube.com slash Aaron Bun Paints. You can check me out. Correct, Stephanie. Very light blue. Or whatever blue you want. Celine, it was great. That's okay, you missed it. Don't worry. It was really, really great. All the paintings disappeared in about an hour. I had over 300 people were waiting for me and uh, it was really great to uh, meet some of you two in person again. A good chunk of people who attended um, were just locals who maybe saw my Facebook post, but a good chunk were people who had been following along with me for weeks, months, etc. So it was really, really special to meet some of you in person today. And maybe some of you are here for the first time because of the giveaway. So hello to you as well and welcome in. So I'm not purposely trying to streak this up, guys. I'm just looking in the camera. It does look a little streaky, right? So if you want to streak it up, you could add a little bit of white on your brush and just brush that on top or a little blue brush it on top. But I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. It's probably just my messy mixing. You can see it's pretty consistent in this first one. So if you want it true to the original, I would just do a consistent blue. If you want to play with it a bit, streak it up, go for it. 
Alexis just here to watch tonight. No worries. Thank you for the paintings today. See, Alexis came. You're very welcome. Stephanie, no need to wet the canvas. Correct, Stephanie. I don't wet the canvas. It's like a personal preference thing, I find. Faye, maybe your second time. Okay, okay. I'm so glad, Alexis. Correct. Don't wet the canvas. You can if you want, guys. There's no harm in it. Thank you from Dallas. You're welcome, Miriam. Victoria, one watching the little boy. Yeah, right? So you're watching the live stream. Yeah, there was a, a little boy who was so excited about the little owl. He was like a little cozy owl, like cuddled up in the winter. And he's like, it's mine. I was like, it's yours. It was so adorable. That was my son. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay. Welcome back, Alexis and your kids. Amazing. Just giving another minute, uh, honestly, just to catch up on chat as well. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> Let's see here. No worries, Rally. Thanks for the lurk. Oh, thank you for sharing Grok, uh, Grok on uh, Twitch there. She just shared the uh, the clip of me opening up the aprons for the first time. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Grok, so smart. Thank you. Kaz, no worries. Yeah, I know. Too much content. It is new. Yeah, Kaz, check out the uh, link that Grok just sent. If you do uh, command apron, you can see it. Hello, Mert from Montana. <laughs> yeah, I think it did too, Victoria. It was very wholesome. If I had more, I'd give out more, but they're, they're pretty much all gone. I kept my originals is what I did, the originals that I've been teaching, but it's very bizarre to look over and my whole closet is empty. It's pretty weird. My heart is full, but my closet is not. <laughs> cool, looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, check out that clip. It was a really wholesome. I opened it like for the first time on Twitch the one day and it was really a lot. Mm -hmm. It was so nice again. Thank you again, Terry. I can't say it enough. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to wash off my brush, everybody, and I'm going to go on to the next step. The next step is just doing this nice green background. So um, ignoring the sunflowers, it's just a plain green. All I did is I tapped on the top here to make it a little more textured. Uh, you can see it looks like kind of the tops of trees a little bit. And then I just brought the green down in no particular way. You can just kind of brush it on, brush it on nice big or nice small strokes. You can tap it on if you want. Tapping takes a little longer, so I will personally be switching to brushing on my way down. It's just kind of tapping on the top. So that's a preview. I'll actually teach it now. You can use the same brush you were using. So that was the large flat brush. I did wash it off whenever you're ready. Champignons, welcome in. New here, viewing from uh, Quebec. Excellent. Simon, you got got friends here. Definitely got my attention. Amazing, amazing. All right, so to make green, everybody, we were going to be mixing yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. I would say half, half. Half yellow, half blue. And mix a lot of it because we're covering the rest of the canvas with this, right? Volcano plate. And people were really looking at this thing during the giveaway. I still don't know how you paint on it, they said. And I was like, I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> it's just still going, this guy. I'm right at the top of the volcano, you can see. So about half-half, you can see I'm just kind of grabbing some blue, grabbing some yellow, mixing it together. Okay. So for the first, for the top, I guess, the first bit is what I was gonna say. You don't want a whole lot of paint on your brush because uh, we want this kind of like stippling look. We want it to be kind of a soft uh, tap, tap, tap look, you know? So it looks a little bit textured on the top. So even if you wanna tap your brush off on a towel or paper towel or something, that could work. That's what I just did on the side there. And I'm just gonna lightly tap wherever I want my greenery to start, so. Again, I'm sticking around the first quarter or so of the canvas. You can kind of switch it up as you go, kind of go up and down if you want. Just kind of tapping, tapping off a little bit. And then using, you're just using the tips of the bristles and tapping right on top here. So you can see how it's stippling. That's because my bristles are kind of expanding a little bit. Uh, if anything, you could even like purposely move the bristles with your fingers to try and separate them. And then that way when you tap, you're getting some nice gaps in between them as they tap, right? You're getting that stippling look. So that's what I go for for the start here. And again, I'm just going right across like this. You can go kind of up and down. 
And you'll go farther up here. Just to get that soft top, because we don't need the stippling all the way down. It's really just for the top, right? So I'm really just concentrating on that top edge for the start. I could even go a little darker than that too. So, you know, if you do something like this, maybe here's a great example. You have a green that you don't really like. You're like, ah, maybe it's a little light. Just mix together a darker green on your plate. So a little more blue. Again, I'm just showing an example. This is not a step. If you want to change your color, change the color on your plate. Tap over top. That's what you can do with acrylic. Just plop it on top. You can see it's already nice and dark there. So I'm going to just do that just to kind of keep it consistent. But you can do that anytime with any color. I would say except for black, I guess. Black you might want to let dry and then go on top of. But most colors, most colors. I don't want to dig myself a hole here saying all colors. But most colors. Tap on top, blend it in. Especially if it's just like making something a little lighter or a little darker. Just blend it right on top. No one will know the difference. Oh, of course, Shafin. Sha Shafinaz, yeah? I don't want to like botch the pronunciation, so let me know. Shafinaz, Quebec. My neighboring province. I try and read all of them. It was a little hard at the start there. Facebook is popping off here, but otherwise I think I'm keeping up. Twitch is just throwing the hypes in the chat because of Volcano Plate. Excellent, excellent. So point is, after you do that nice soft top, whenever you're happy with just the top look, you can just continue the green down. Uh, again, I don't think it's necessary to tap it. I certainly didn't do that in my original here. Um, I'm just doing these small brush strokes. I do like a little bit of texture, so rather than smoothing it out like this, I am going to instead do small brush strokes. It's like the easier way to grab texture rather than tap, tap, tapping, right? So you can see back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, all the way. Some people even like to do, you know, big strokes back and forth and then just kind of tap their brush on top to add some texture. You can do any variety of things, right? Again, like this, and then you can tap on top or like this and then do your strokes on top. Whatever's easiest. Sometimes uh, people find it easy just to lay the paint on and then kind of alter it a bit with texture. So that's all I'm saying. You can do any order you like there. As long as you're covering this whole thing in a nice green color, that's all we're looking for right now. And got it right, excellent, excellent. Bernadine, really nice to see you and it did go well, thank you. I talked a little bit about it at the start so you can watch this back on Facebook if you want to hear me talk about it, but overall it was fantastic. <laughs> Bernadine. <laughs> I was just trying my best to keep people uh, safe. Yes. I think, at, yes, at points people got a little excited about the paintings and maybe got a little close at points and a little tight. Just for my liking, I'm just trying to be super, super safe. I would hate if anything were to have happened because of that little uh, giveaway there, I wouldn't even call it a gathering. I didn't want it to be a gathering of people. It was more just like, you know, people coming in and out grabbing paintings. So yes, I had to remind a lot just to say, hey guys, maybe just to back up a bit. Again, I know it was just because everyone was excited. So I understand. Overall, I would say everyone was uh, respectful. So that was great. I just understand the excitement really gets to everybody as a group, so. And I mean, next time, maybe if I do a live giveaway thing like that again, I'll be setting some harder rules, like lining up and one at a time type thing. But overall, I think it was fantastic. But I'm glad I got you to giggle. <laughs> Stephanie, just working on the sky. No worries. No problem, Stephanie. If I can help you, just let me know. I'm going to spend at least a couple more minutes on the screen here, and I'm sure everyone else will too, so no worries at all. Uh, please note, you can see my green is changing. That's not on purpose either. I'm just mixing more green, and it might get a little darker, a little lighter as I go. Again, not on purpose. This is just the background green, which you can see is, for the most part, pretty specific, right? Or, excuse me, consistent. <laughs> it's not specific, it's consistent. <laughs> Words and stuff, you know? 
So yeah, if it changes a little bit, that's okay. If it's consistent, that's okay too. It's just the background green for now. It's like our base, right? As usual, I like to make sure our canvas is covered. We're not worried about any white spots. We can just make sure everything is covered with a nice layer of paint. And then we can just focus on the foreground. That's how I like to do things with acrylics. But yeah, under an hour, those paintings when it was pretty crazy. I, uh, <laughs> and everyone was, uh, you know, everyone's looking for either a specific painting or subject matter. And it was so difficult because I know which paintings I have, right? But I had no idea which ones had been taken at that point because my mom, again, was helping. Uh, and people were just grabbing the second they went down and, oh, do you have this painting? Do you have that one? I was like, I might, but it may have been gone already. And so that was really uh, interesting too. But I think in the end, everyone got uh, something they were looking for. Even some of the ones that had little rips in them, unfortunately, sometimes when I store them, the canvas, uh, if another corner of a uh, painting hits the canvas of another, it kind of rips sometimes. But even those ones were gone because uh, people said, oh, I'll patch it up or I just don't care at all. It's, uh, it's nice anyway. So I'm very happy those ones found homes too. <laughs> yeah, they all found homes. Sorry, I'm laughing because I made one of my dog at one point that was accidentally in the pile. It was a half completed uh, painting of my dog, my family dog. Someone wanted that one. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. That was not meant to be here. <laughs> Please give my dog back. <laughs> they didn't take it. I'm just kidding. But like they wanted it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, no. First of all, it's not finished. Second of all, it's my dog. <laughs> just my painting of my dog. Thank you. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, too. Okay, I'm just looking in the camera, getting all my spots there. Excellent. Okay, so as you can see, my canvas is covered. I may have even covered a little higher than I did here. Maybe a tad, but not much. Not much. There you go, see? That's pretty close. That's about as close as I can be. So I'm just giving you guys a couple more minutes. Okay, a couple more minutes. You can take your time. Ask any questions in the meantime. Light orange with white. Uh, Bernadine for uh, like a sunflower alternative. That would be a good one. Yeah. Or a yellow alternative, I mean. And then Stephanie, no, we do not. Thank you, Andrew, for answering. Yeah, wetting the canvas. Um, I know some artists do that like all the time, especially with acrylics. They just do a quick layer of uh, water. I almost said a quick, quick layer of wet. No, a quick layer of water to wet the canvas. Um, I've done it once or twice. Uh, I just, I don't know. It didn't make a huge difference to me. It didn't harm anything, but for the amount of time, like the extra couple minutes it takes, I just skip it. Uh, I think some believe that it helps with blending. So I think that's interesting too. Yeah. So, I mean, personal preference. If you've done it before, it works for you. I would keep doing it. If uh, if not, I just, I almost never do it. I can't think of a time I did it really recently. Mm-hmm. Bommy, cheers, cheers, cheers. I'll have a sip for you. Wood blending. Wrong chat, baby. You're the texture chat right now. Uh, Patty, I love the one of the guitar you were putting out. Was this a tutorial you did? I would enjoy doing that one. I could do something similar, Patty. I can do something similar. Uh, I've been wanting to do a musical one recently anyway. I've had a couple like just music requests. Like people actually said piano and stuff like that, but I could do a guitar. Is that on my list? Let's check my list. Let's check my list. Still giving another minute or two. I know it's a lot of canvas to cover, so please take your time. Sorry. I don't know if I have guitar specifically, so I'm just gonna throw that on here super quick. Hello. I loved that style too. I, I know which one you're talking about, Patty. It was very um, large brush strokes, all kind of blended and melded together. Very textured, if you will. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll think about something like that real soon. Oh, Kelly, what'd you say? Ah, Kelly, that is a little personal. That's okay though. That's okay you asked. But uh, yeah, I'll be keeping that to myself for now. Thank you. 
No worries about asking, though. Don't feel bad. Patty, that's great. I look forward to it. Excellent, excellent. Tamara, my daughter and I just joined a little late. No worries, no worries. Tamara, if I can help catch you up. We've only done two steps, so let me know. We've done a light blue up here, and then a green here, a little more textured with some uh, brush strokes and dabbing. <laughs> Patty loves texture. You're with me, girl. <laughs> what? I can blend where I want to. Yeah, okay, okay. Clean my friend's phone. <laughs> Da, da, da. My friends don't blend, don't blend, and they no friends of mine. Copyright struck. <laughs> uh, what do you mean blend? Yeah, what do you mean? There's no blending here. It's all texture. We can blend. We can blend. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Becky, inspirational quote with flowers or something like a dream catcher would be cool. Thank you. I like the dream catch. I have lots of flowers. It's not that I don't like the flowers, it's just that I have lots of flowers on here. Dream catcher is being put. Being put. It's being added. Thank you. One more minute. Let's say one more minute for the green guys. <laughs> but if my friends blend. No friends of mine. What's the saying? Birds of a feather flocks together? Texture. <laughs> I've converted everybody. <laughs> Exactly, Tattoo. That's what we're doing. Please continue it. We can blend. We can blend. Again, I don't want to be struck by uh, Facebook copyright here. <laughs> or Twitch. <laughs> oh, man. No, Kelly, again, don't be sorry. It's totally fine. I get it. It's, you're not the first to ask. It's fine. Excellent. I'm glad I am, too. That's all. That's all it really needs to be said. It's just, it's all a good thing. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good everywhere. Sonia is something like uh, with mushrooms and fairies. I do have both of those on there. Thank you. Rose is great. I love texture. Rose is a texture fan as well. Shout out, Rose. <laughs> I have a thing with Twitch, guys. I haven't said it too much on Facebook. I, I love texture. I always make a joke. Every time I do texture, I go, texture. And they all go, texture together. <laughs> it's kind of a thing. <laughs> we all just say the word texture together a bunch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So if that's why you hear me do that, it's because it's habit from Twitch. Anyway, you should join me on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Will you be painting any daisies? Suzanne, that was like one of my first ones. It was like one of my first uh, tutorials, actually. I did a nice daisy with a uh, butterfly. Check that out on YouTube if you're curious. YouTube.com slash Erin Bun Paints. Just hearing my daughter aggressively slapping the paint with her brush. <laughs> that's not calming to you, Andrew? <laughs> aggressively slapping. That's really funny. Corinna, <laughs> with water pops and clips. I've done that too, Corinna. That was um, maybe one of my fifth or sixth, sixth, fifth or sixth painting was a nice waterfall right on a cliff there, actually. Check that out on YouTube. If you feel like you have a different idea like to add on to that, let me know and I'm happy to uh, experiment. Shads, think you're trying my own sunflower painting later, Erin. Excellent. I'm a beginner. Recently started painting with watercolor. <gasps> Amazing. You're so welcome, Shads. I'm glad I could help. Heather, uh, even amounts blue and yellow and lots of it because there was lots of canvas. Just getting through the comments, then we'll move on, guys. Uh, did not get a footprint. Barb, sure. Send me a PM. Rio, California, second time. Excellent. Welcome in. Becky, love your vibe, so happy. Thank you, it's what I try and go for. I just, uh, that's the whole point of this. Happy vibes, all that good stuff. I've been feeling the greatest the past couple of days. Your energy is amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. Take my energy, take it, take it, take it. Suzanne, what a blessing. Oh, of course, you're very welcome. It's like saying moist texture, but, it, but way better. <laughs> moist is not good, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> uh, no, this is like a nice thing, texture. Check it out. Yeah, of course, Suzanne, no problem. Yep, fall will come. All the fall things will come. Probably sooner rather than later. Actually, I'm just in a fall mood very, very recently. Loving texture. Excellent, Sharon. I'm so glad. Do a Playbill musical painting. Ooh, that'd be cool, Zion. Suzanne, do you paint animals? Yep. Uh, I don't have elephants or bears. They are on my list, but I'm going to get into uh, to animals soon, I swear. Uh, the Vibarant, welcome in. Thanks for the follow on Twitch there. And Viviana, are you starting with 30 minutes? Uh, we're, we're, we're already started. We're already started. If I can help uh, catch you up, let me know. We started at 7 p.m. EST today. Blend together. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, Bami. Mmm, texture. The only reason I know this song is, uh, 
Oh, okay, okay. Subly, welcome in. Hello! <laughs> Here too. <laughs> Can't sleep too. <laughs> Oh, well, that's funny. Welcome in. Welcome in, Subly. Charlene, that's an idea. Probably for, like, a private event, though, huh? Hit me up if you want to do something privately. Everybody. Anybody. I'm starting to do that. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. I want to Michael's for more paint. They had a fall stuff. I know. Michael's is the best at having, like, a season ahead so you can really plan ahead. <laughs> the best? The worst? No, I think it's the best. It makes me excited for the next season, so... Again, I've, I've been in a fall mood. I love fall colors and we have so many different like fall ideas always being suggested. So maybe we could paint some fall things in the late summer. I'm down. Are you guys down? Let me know. <laughs> okay, and Stephanie, that was the large flat brush. Any large brush will do for you. Okay, let me talk about the next step. That gives you still a minute or two if anyone's still working. Next step uh, is very messily. I wanna recognize how messy this is. Messily putting on some stems and stuff. Stems and then these leaves. This is of course a little cleaner just cause it's the foreground sunflower, but please note, messiness, okay? So no need to worry about super straight lines, consistent lines, uh, perfectly shaped leaves. I purposely wanted to make this uh, a little bit just messier, looser, uh, just for the look of having them a little further behind, right? Because they are in the background. So just keep that in mind. I will teach you how to do it, but keep it in mind. And then I will be doing more of a foreground one. So again, a little cleaner. I'll kind of lead you through this uh, leaf shape, uh, the stem of course, but again, for the most part, messy, clean. Okay, cool. We're gonna switch brushes. We're gonna switch to the medium round brush. You dip in the water. And we're going to make yet another green. The difference this time is that it's a nice light green. Okay, so you can see how it's lighter against the background. So to make light green, you can mix blue and yellow together, but this time use much more yellow first of all, and then second of all, maybe add a little bit of white to it. The white is going to help it stick on top of the green and pop off. If you use just yellow and blue, uh, it might become a little transparent and just become hidden. So it's always my suggestion to do lots of yellow, a little bit of blue for the light green, and then white to help make it stick on top, if that makes sense. It makes it more opaque, the fancy words, yeah. So again, medium round brush, lots of yellow, little bit of blue, little bit of white, that's the three. Dream and I have a joke we keep falling each other. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. I love that. I feel like I've uh, said that joke to some before too. It's not following me. Welcome in though. Welcome in. So again, lots of yellow, little blue, little white. Welcome Vicky. If I didn't say welcome to you, welcome in. Stephanie, uh, yeah, big brush. What shade of green? A dark green. Time zones. Oh, no worries, Vivian. Yeah, it happens. I'm sorry. Um, I try and write EST everywhere I can, and sometimes I hope that Facebook like adjusts for your time zone, but maybe it didn't. Uh, either way, though, uh, Viviana, if you're too bar far behind or you just want to like watch from the start, this video will be available later, so keep that in mind, okay? No pressure. Did a cosmic elephant in March? That'd be fun again. Yes, I would love, Patty. I would love to do that one. Or anything similar. Stephanie, I have excess green. Perfect. Yes, I can do a pumpkin one, Kelly. That paints me, I just wanna watch. Perfect, no worries, Vicky. A lot of people just kind of watch and chat, so feel free to chat with me as you go. If you have questions or just wanna talk about anything, feel free. <laughs> Love just having little conversations as we paint. All right, guys, I have a nice light green here. So again, uh, doing this very loose, I'll focus on the background uh, sunflowers first, just using the tip of the brush, doing some quick lines. So see that line? It's not a consistent line. It's just kind of dotted on there. I could do that a little better, a little better. But there's gonna be some gaps here and there. There's gonna be some inconsistencies and that's okay. Um, a lot of them end up getting covered up first of all with just the uh, flowers. But second of all, again, because it's in the background, I liked the idea of having it looser and just less uh, consistent and less clean. So I am starting them kind of in this bottom, I would say middle area. I do bring them over a little here. But they're all kind of leaning different ways. You might have some like straight up like this. You might have stems over here that you might not even fill up later. That just kind of are, you know, filling up the space. Like you might not put flowers on them. They're just little stems hanging out. I'm just reloading my brush every one or two stems and just doing some straight-ish lines. Straight-ish. 
Aren't those nice straight-ish lines? So in the end, I won't be filling up again all of these stems with a flower on top. It's more so just uh, to fill up some space here, give a little bit of some interesting stuff in the background. I'll kind of choose some stems later on, the ones that I want to add a flower on top of. So just add a bunch. Uh, if I could make a recommendation, add at least one or two that are a little taller up here. I really like the idea of having a couple sunflowers like a little taller reaching up and then some of them kind of come down. And I mean with this too, it's great because you don't need to plan for the ones down here. You can literally just put a little flower head here, for example, even if it's not at the end of the stem and just pop it there and now the flower is there, you know? Just because there's so many stems floating around, that's the great part about keeping a little messier today. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Charlene said, would you teach like a business logo, for example? And I was saying, let me know privately, because I don't think everyone would want to know a specific business logo and also copyright reasons. Uh, but what I've been doing recently, some of you have been reaching out just on your own saying, hey, could you do like a private party, for example? I'm doing it now. Um, I used to say I'm not ready for it and I wasn't. I had a lot of other things to organize and just like pricing and stuff like that. I now have a consistent pricing uh, bracket that I can give you for, you know, certain number of people, what's included, time lengths, uh, you know, deposits needed, things like that. So if anyone is interested in like a private session-ish, um, either, either just with yourself or a group of people, it's more priced honestly for a group of people, like 10 to 20-ish, um, virtually online, direct message me. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, I have it uh, organized, ready to go. And, uh, I, and I also feel like I have enough paintings now that I can say I have a library to choose from. Although I have mentioned that uh, a custom painting is an option for an extra uh, price there. So yeah, birthday parties, random get togethers, corporate events, virtual, all the virtual stuff. I'm ready. Hit me up. Let me know. Um, what color did I mix? That was lots of yellow, little bit of blue, little bit of white. I'm just going to give another minute or so for the stems. Oh, look at that was a lighter one. And yeah, I'll just mention if you have a couple that are even lighter, maybe you remix the green, it gets a little lighter as you go. That's okay too. It's all, all the layers, you know, lots of nice layers. Doesn't matter. I'll give a minute or two and then I'll lead you through leaves. That'll be like a separate step for you. Okay. Uh, Teresa would love to paint animals, dogs specifically. Okay. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful, we'll put that info in my memory bank. Excellent, Patty. Love it, love it. Yesterday I started watching Truman, you I know, that's what he does. Truman, you like, yeah, you raid and you're like, I'm off now, guys, and you imply that you're leaving, and then you're like sticking around for hours. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I've seen it happen. <laughs> what? Oh, but then later someone raided him and it ended full circle. I've never had that. That is a special, uh, a special full, cir full circle moment. Oh my gosh. That was funny. That's insane, dude. You gotta fix your sleep. I think I have a messed up sleep. You have a messed up sleep schedule. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rated him back. The love just comes right back around. Good strategy. Good strategy, Simon. That's great. <laughs> 3 a.m. here. Yeah, you guys stay up late. You guys stay up late. But me too, though. <laughs> just different time zone late. It's still late, though. Vivi and I'll try and catch you live next time. No worries. They are usually at night, Vivi. Oh yeah, you said it was only one hour off, right? Yeah, no worries. It's all in EST. Um, I'm trying my best to write that as much as possible, but it's totally possible I missed it. So just so you know. Mm-hmm. Me too, spuds. Good late night crew. All right, let's have a look here. So I'm just gonna add on now some messy leaves. Oh, sorry, we should do the one more stem first, excuse me. Let's do one more stem just cause we're in the stem steps here. Nice little easy last stem. So uh, I guess I'll point it out though. One last stem, we want one good uh, kind of like thicker stem for the main sunflower. So this one is kind of coming from the, I would say like middle area here down to the bottom right corner, okay? So same brush, same color. We're really just uh, doing a specific stem today or right now. But today too, it is, we're doing this today. So you can see I'm just making this a little bit cleaner because it's in the foreground. I'm making it a little wider because again, it is in the foreground. It'll be closer to us and therefore a little bigger. So 
So that's going to be our main sunflower. Wherever you want your main sunflower to be, if you want to change it up where it is, you can do that. I'm kind of sticking my background on the left, foreground on the right. Twelve forty-five. Oh yeah, Grok, you're never up late. You have a very consistent uh, day to night schedule. Sleeping at night. Yep. Awake in the day. Of course, of course. Wow, Bommy. <laughs> Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> Seems pretty normal. My daughter is waiting for dragons. I'm 99% sure it's on here in Jube, and I'm gonna just write it down super quick just in case. I think it's in the animal category. I'm just writing it in pencil here. Okay, well, it's it's here now. <laughs> I know a lot of you are waiting for animals. I've said it before, they make me a little nervous. They're a little hard to teach, but I'm gonna go for it. I've been trying to like dip my toes in with the teeny tiny animals, you know, like the bee here and stuff, but uh, we'll get to it, we'll get to it, don't you worry. Cause I wanna feed some dogs and stuff too. I love dogs, I love animals in general, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. All right, let's go back to what I was just talking about, the leaves here. So again, I just wanna point out messiness, looseness of the leaves. Some of them are just like outlined. Here's a good just outline one, outlined. Uh, some of them are filled in a little bit. Maybe I kind of went in with another color and just kind of filled in super quick or grabbed another color and did a couple more strokes here. This one's empty in the middle. You know, there's just lots of different ones, okay? So just keep it loose, keep it messy. Try not to worry too much about where they're going and what they're looking like. As you can see, again, they get covered up a little bit here and there anyway. So just so you know, just so you know. So we're using the same color, it was the nice light green. I'm using the same brush, which was the medium round. And the general leaf shape is uh, starting from the stem in about the same spot. You curve outwards on either side, and then they come in and meet in a, in a point at the end here. So, and they can point really anywhere. You can point them out to the right or left, kind of up and down-ish, or kind of down angled. So here I go, one curve, two curve. So I started in the same spot on the stem. I curved out and in, out and in. They met at a little tip and that's a leaf. So that one's going pretty straight out this way. Let's do one angled up. I'll choose a different stem. Curve out and in, out and in. There's another. Let's do one pointing down. There you go. So those are all outlines. I was saying before, you could outline, you could uh, fill them in as you go. You can just kind of loosely do a brush stroke or two, one brush stroke, leave it empty. It all just kind of adds some variety. So try it out, just try doing different things with all of them. You can even switch up the shade of your color a little bit if you want to just kind of tap a little more into a darker green just by maybe adding a little bit of blue to your existing green, using that to do another stroke or filling it up. You can see it just adds to the messiness, it adds to the looseness. I really like trying my best to do things to make it kind of messier or looser. So I will purposely add different shades of color as I go and use them to either outline or to fill in. Uh, again, I wouldn't think too much about it. A lot of that will be covered. They just kind of peek out here and there. So I'm just going ahead, filling up my stems anywhere and everywhere here. Um, yeah, another strategy, you can even use a new color to outline it. So I outlined in a nice light color and now it pops off a little bit more. I don't really like that one, I'm going to do it again. There we go. Yeah. Thick strokes, thin strokes, all of the above. All of the above. Use more pressure, less pressure, just play around as you go. It should be fun. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully you're not like, you know, scrutinizing each leaf. Should they should all be a little different, just all be like nice and loose and fun to do. Oh yeah, Discord's the place to be, Twitch. Bumblebee is a great start. I know. Yeah, Bumblebee and I had like the dragonflies the other day. They're all just the small little animals, just the small guys. I'm gonna work my way up, okay? Maybe we'll do some like baby animals, then we'll do some larger animals. I don't know. I need to look at the animalist. Twitch, please remind me next time I say, what do I paint you guys? Because I always start off by saying, I don't know what I want to paint. Just say animals <laughs> and we'll go from there. Thank you very much. I got 4.5 useless channel points. Bommy, I swear. 
that's coming so soon. I'm gonna get some cool channel point stuff up and you can use all of those beautiful 4.5K channel points for something real cool, okay? Or just use them on highlighted messages in the meantime. Feel free, feel free. I would suggest saving them. Ooh, sorry, we got a lot of things here. There we go, okay. Have used oil pastels. Heather, maybe once in my life, like in school, but I don't own any. They're very uh, satisfying to use, I remember, very smooth as I went. You're welcome, Andrew. Sonia, a cow. Just making sure. Thank you. Kitchen cook chefing. Chefing, excuse me. Chef themed, that was me saying chefing, not you. Chefing items, no, chef themed items. I think I'll add just a couple more uh, leaves, everybody. I keep wanting to say flowers, but they are indeed leaves. Do you prefer painting landscape? Uh, like landscape uh, paintings, yes. Landscape orientation, no. This is portrait, this would be landscape, but I think you mean landscape paintings, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just love all the colors in them. I love bright paintings. If you can clearly see a lot of my paintings are super, super bright in color. Um, and I find landscapes just really like an easier thing to do with that. You can do any colors in the sky, anything you imagine. I think a lot more people feel a little more loose in landscapes. Cause again, it's like your own kind of fantasy world, right? When you're doing an animal, this is my other fear. Sometimes it's like, you want the animal to look right. You want the animal to look real, etc. And that's okay. Um, it's just kind of a different, different feel as I'm teaching, right? It's a little more, I don't want to say serious, but you know, a little more concentrated on things versus I like just saying, you know, do what you want. If you want to put purple in the sky, do it. It would be kind of hard to put like purple in a, in a cat, you know? <laughs> you could, but it's a little harder to say, be loose, you know? So. That's, uh, yeah, that's part of it for sure. It's just, I think it involves a little more imagination there. And my theory is the curry wolf. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I'm doing a tutorial. Let me know if you have questions. Um, my theory is if people want to do animals, they can add them to the landscape. So that's even better because they can like customize with the animals. I understand that we want to be taught the animals and again, I'll work on it. But yeah, I mean, in the meantime, do a cool little silhouette of something that you like just right on top of your beautiful landscape. Make it your own that way. So yeah, lots of different thoughts there, I guess, for you. But yeah, you, I think you can kind of catch on that. I, I like my landscapes. I like my nature, nature, you know, things like that. So. I was just adding a light green on top just to get some uh, differentiation going here. Rose, how are they looking? Let me know uh, what's up and I can help you. Lynn, no worries, Lynn. You can catch it another time. Uh, that was a light green, Stephanie. So lots of yellow, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Hello, Cindy from Indiana. Oh, you did, Lynn? Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Check me out on Twitch if you want to learn more about bullet journaling. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. I did a bullet journaling stream recently and I think I converted a lot of people to get some nice bullet journals. That's exciting. Barb, puppies. Yes, true. I have dog on there. I'll for sure remember puppies though when I'm painting if I do a dog. Hey there, not painting tonight. Got a notebook, looked up bullet journal. Oh, no worries, Lynn. You're welcome. Cool. Did I talk about the bullet journal on Facebook? I forget. I know I did a whole Twitch stream on it. Maybe I mentioned it after. That's maybe what happened. Uh, Stephanie, that was lots of yellow, little blue, little bit of white. You're doing a school theme painting for kids. Um, I could, Charlene. I could. Just getting through the comments and I'll go to the next step, everybody. I like abstract. Thanks, Teresa. We did that uh, a couple weeks back. If I can think of another way to do abstract, I'd love to do that again. I thought that was so fun and freeing for everybody. I loved like the different tools we used and just how we were so loose with our colors and just techniques. So if I can think of a different style of abstract, because that was very specific, like scraping, I will let you know. Pumpkins in the fields, cornfield, grape and vine. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. I think I got it. Again, I, it's just this, it's the delay, guys. There's, there's quite the delay today because I'm looking on this other computer. So I appreciate your patience, but thank you for pointing it out. Celine, I can talk about that in a second if you want. <laughs> no worries, Lynn. Aw. And you, I'll talk about it in a second. Oh my gosh. 
Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Nancy's saying I talked about bullet journaling in the frog uh, pond stream. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about it in a second here if you guys are interested. And... Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Can you give us... What? They're, they're kind of not done. They're just on that to-do list when we, you know, hunker down and make our channels better and stuff. That'll be that day. <laughs> I've got ideas, I just don't have it written down. Okay, Kaz, you go. You go, Bommy. You go. Done to the Christmas palm tree. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Purple in the sky. Wait, you see my painting? Hello. Hello, Potato Nugget. Welcome in. I'm doing a tutorial right now. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm leading people through a step-by-step -step painting. They're all following along with me. I've got about 100 on Facebook. I've got 20 of you on Twitch right now, so it's a great big group. Let me know if I can help you with anything or just chat with the chat. I'll chat with you too. Hiya, welcome in. Yes, thanks for welcoming in, Potato. Love your little name too, Potato Nugget. <clears throat> And yeah, if uh, anyone on Twitch is doing their artwork, go to Discord to share it. That'd be great. Cute! Beagle calling. Oh, I could, I could! Okay, so I'm just gonna do my last little leaf here, guys, and then I'll keep catching up here. I'll talk about a bullet journal as I do it. Because <laughs> you guys are all interested. What's a bullet journal? Okay. So I just want to point out, we have a couple leaves that are a little more clean. We have these ones here for a nice big sunflower, right? So they're the same technique. This one's a little different, actually. I'm not going to lie. I'll, I'll teach you how I did this one. But this one here, same thing. We start here, a nice curve and point, curve and point, just a lot bigger, a lot cleaner. Spuds, thank you for gifting that sub to Potato Nugget. Potato Nugget, special welcome in. You got a sub. You can use my little bun motes now. Have fun. So let's start with this one here. If you want to copy the exact leaves I'm doing, I'm going to do the one coming to the left here. So using the same color, same brush, I'm going to start down here. Big curve this time, coming to a point. Another big curve, coming to a point, right? That was a little messy just because I ran out of paint there. But you can see the shape, hopefully. And I did fill it in. You can again choose to fill it in with a different color if you want, or if you want to like outline it again with a lighter color or darker color, that would be fun. I'll just show you that. Maybe I'll do a light, a very light color. We're already in a pretty light green, but I'll just make it a little lighter to show you. I just think it looks, uh, yeah, I love the like bold brush strokes on top. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just grabbing a lighter color right on top. Bing bong boop. We've got a nice multicolored leaf. Cool. And then this one, I did point out, it's a little different, honestly, and it is. Um, what I did instead, it's almost like a heart shape, if you want to think of it that way. Um, so rather than starting at um, one point and just doing one curve to point, curve to point, this kind of comes like up and around, over and around. Like it's almost like a very abrupt curve. That's how you can think of it. Rather than just kind of a casual curve, it goes like, kind of like does a huge round section right there. So if you want to copy this one here, I'll leave it. Sorry, microphone. I'll leave it right here for you. Come on over. So I'm going to start here. It's almost like a heart shape. So I'm going to come up and then down. I'm going to come up and then down. Because that's kind of what leaves do. Like a little less abrupt than that, but they kind of curve around like that on a certain angle. If you're looking kind of, uh, kind of on the top part of the leaf, it does a little funny angle up here. So Try that if you want to just mix up your leaves a bit and I just fill it in with another shade here. Pretty. And I think it just makes it like a little heart leaf. I think it's very cute. Very cute. Okay, so that's, uh, that's those. Very quickly, bullet journaling. I talked about this apparently in the uh, Froggy Pond stream. Thank you for those who remembered. Sometimes I get mixed up what I talk about on Twitch and on Facebook. Bullet journaling essentially is uh, it's a journal, but instead of lines or blank pages, it has small little uh, dots on it. Uh, all the dots are very close together, uh, kind of like a grid formation, just not gridded with lines, just gridded with dots. Uh, I use it for planning. I, uh, I every week will kind of make a, a spread. They call it like a bullet journal spread. And it's like a weekly spread. So I'll make like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I 
use my journal and put some lines on it, make some little boxes. It's like a little agenda for me. Uh, I pretty it up with some little doodles and stuff. Maybe I'll have a theme for the month. That's usually what I do. I have themes every month. I'll do a bee theme. That was legitimately my April theme. Uh, this uh, last last month was a uh, it was like cold treats theme. So it was like ice creams, ice cream sandwiches, freezies, things like that. What was this theme? Clouds. Clouds was this month's theme. So uh, I use it for that. I use it just for doing art in. Uh, if I have lists I want to keep track of, like movies to watch, uh, shows to watch, book recommendations, I have all those in there. It's like my whole life in a book. It's like a whole organization, uh, lovely contained area that I can refer to at any time. So that's what I use it for. You can use it for anything though. Um, but yeah, I think I was just talking about it at one point and uh, got a lot of people excited about it. And some people were saying they've gone out and bought bullet journals now. So amazing. Um, if you're interested in like seeing my bullet journal, what I do in it, uh, I, I did that on Twitch a week or two ago. I opened up my bullet journal and told people how I organize it and kind of talked about bullet journaling for a few hours at least. And I plan on doing that once a month. So if you want to tune in for that, it'll probably be more closer to the end of the month because what I do is I plan for the next month ahead of time. Uh, yeah, and it's just a few hours where we all can journal together and uh, do some art together and talk about what we're doing in our bullet journal. So feel free to tune in for that again on Twitch twitch.tv slash Aaron Bun Paints. Rachel, do you do uh, any non-brush painting like cotton buds or flowers? Um, not usually in the paintings, Rachel, just because I like to keep it consistent so that people can like invest in a couple supplies and follow along. But those are always a good idea. Like if you ever want to do that, uh, whenever we do stars in the sky, for example, I always throw out a few suggestions for people like toothbrushes or um, you know, toothpicks for very tiny stars, things like that. So I don't usually do it just so that no one feels pressure to go buy things, but you can certainly do it. And the one exception to that was my abstract painting. I used a spatula and a palette knife. So <laughs> there you go. So that was the one exception. I did use some other things. Charlene, what about using a couple of different paints tipping on canvas? Maybe soon, Charlene, that might be on my list of things to try out. I might be testing that on Twitch very soon and then bringing it to Facebook. You watch. <laughs> It's like I'm whispering to you when I get closer. Hello. <laughs> Lynn, yes, and it was when I bought my bullet journal today. Need big changes in my life. Amazing, that's kind of what I think too, Lynn. It's like big changes just helps you organize your thoughts. At least for me, I have a lot of thoughts in my brains at all, in my brain at all times, not multiple brains, one brain. And I just want to spit them all out sometimes, put them on a piece of paper. You can use it for literal journaling if you want to just throw a little entry in there. And that's why it's great. It's all custom to you. You just choose as you go what you want to do, right? So it's fantastic. I love large bl uh, blush flower roses. Yes. I want to do roses soon, you guys. My fault for the bulge. Oh, no worries. Heart leaves. Exactly. Similar scrapbooking at stickers. Yeah, exactly, Marissa. Yeah, it's like scrapbooking just in a specific kind of journal. It's bullet journaling, so it's a little more blank on the pages just with the dots. It makes it easier to do straight lines and things without cluttering the page, in my opinion. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. And the bullet journal on Facebook with the painting sunset and dandelion. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that on Twitch just because it's like a once a month thing. But yeah, join me there. Join me there if you guys want. Again, Twitch is free to attend. You don't even need to make an account. You just click the link and come on in. It's all good. Barb is on Twitch. Hello. Welcome in, Barb. Good evening, Emerald Ocean. How are you? Yes. Emerald Ocean, so you've walked into a tutorial, so that's why I took a little bit to respond there. I'm also on Facebook responding too. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so we're doing this. You, uh, you probably saw me painting this at one point and displaying it, and now we're replicating it with a big group of people. It's a lot of fun. Bommy, what's up? <laughs> do it, Barb, do it. I think you can easily change your name, isn't that right? I think Kaz knows that, yeah. <laughs> Bommy, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. It's for the sound. It's it's for the people. They wanted the nice sound today. Again, honestly, if this doesn't bother people, I'm just going to keep it here because I think it does produce better sound for everybody. And I know I can pe keep speaking at a more consistent level for everybody, so that's nice. Oh, really, Barb? Okay. Well, three weeks from now, you can think on the name and then uh, decide if you want it. <laughs> Every six years. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bommy. Are you good? 
I'll check on you in a minute. Charlene, you're on my level. You're on my level. <laughs> Kelly, it happens. It still happens to me. This is why I have... Well, first of all, I have a lid so I don't put the paintbrush into the water, but second of all, I now use a yogurt cup so I'm not as tempted to grab this. <laughs> to drink it. Kelly said she almost drank her paint water. Thanks, Corinna. It's just copyright free music. It's just kind of chill, lo-fi beat type stuff. Glad you're enjoying it. Let's go ahead, guys. I think we're good for the next step. Sorry. It's a new thing for me right here. So we have all our stems, all our leaves on. Now we just have to pile some flowers on top. So I think I said before, but uh, these background ones, you don't really need to think about where they're going in terms of where your stems are, which is great. Um, I did recommend doing a couple taller stems so that you can get some sunflowers reaching up nice and high. But these guys down here, if you really pay attention, like you might see this guy doesn't really have an actual stem he's stuck on, or maybe a stem is continuing up somewhere here, for example. They're all just floating around, and that's what makes it great. That's why we kept the messy look, so we can just kind of pretend that there's lots of stems in there, and these are all hanging on somehow, right? So uh, what we'll be doing is starting with brown, and you can just put brown spots really wherever you want. Three, four, five, six. I did eight flowers, in case you're wondering. You can see, I think it is enough that it's not super cluttered, but it's also not empty. It's uh, nice and full without being too, too many to focus on. So if you want to stick to eight in general, that's maybe a good number. And of course, I kept them over to the left. You can see about halfway across, I don't put any brown spots. Instead, I put one big brown spot over on the right. And of course, we do want to put that on the top of our stem up here, nice and big. So it'll be, uh, oh, I put my stem way down there. Well, I mean, not bad. You can put your brown up here, and then as long as the petals come down, that'll be fine. So there you go. Maybe your stem is up here waiting to connect. Maybe it's not. Either way is fine. So I'll be using the medium round brush for that. So you can wash it off whenever you're ready. And we're going to make brown together. So brown is made by using three different colors and I don't do it the traditional proper art school way. The proper way is doing three primary colors, the three primary colors, yellow, red, blue. I find that way too complicated and I never like the brown I get. So I do instead red, yellow, black. You can get those ready and then I'll lead you through the exact process I used. Music is good though, honestly. If I do say so myself, for copyright free music, it's all right. Very spacey. <laughs> Being there, done that. We can all relate to the drinking paint water, wrecking our... The saddest part is wrecking your drinking glass, though, you know? Dipping the brush in there. Sad. Sad. <laughs> uh, will I have a recorded video? Ayo? Yes, I will. Sorry. Ayo? Aoi? It will. It'll be recorded both on Facebook and then eventually on YouTube. YouTube, same name, Aaron Bun Paints. You can check me out. Almost dip my chip in the paint, Sonia. That might be a first. <laughs> like there's dip on your plate and you're like, yum, yum. So sorry. Well, I'm glad you didn't. You said almost. Okay, you can grab your medium round brush. The first two colors that I recommend mixing are red and yellow. Red and yellow. So that'll get you a nice orange color, okay? Even amounts red and yellow. Even amounts, guys, too. It'll be tempting, I think, to add more yellow because it creates a nice bright orange, but instead, resist the urge. Just do even amounts red and yellow. Elon Musk, thanks for the follow. Are you the real Elon Musk? Oh my gosh. Elon Musk just followed me on Twitch, you guys. I'm here for you, Bami. Yeah, Bami, uh, update us. What's going on? I'm not sure if you're just tired and speaking in tongues there. Would no stem my immersion? <laughs> it's an illusion, Michael. I washed my paintbrush and my mom's coffee. Oops. <laughs> Sorry to your mom, Julesy. It's all part of the artistic process. Just tell her it's it's part of your process. It's all worth it in the end. Uh, Stephanie, that was red and yellow. I'm mixing together even amounts red and yellow. And then to that, you can add a little bit of black, just a little bit at a time. Here, I'll try and show you, okay? Sorry, it's the, it's a heavy plate, okay? <laughs> little black, I'm mixing it into my orange. See how it drips down? It's scary, it's gonna drip on me. It's getting big. And you can see, the more you mix it, the more it turns brown. It might start by looking kind of pukey, 
but you might want to add maybe a little more black to darken it up. A little red will warm it up. So if it looks again pukey, that's kind of like the yellowy tone, add more red instead. I rhymed. But yeah, I'm just looking for a nice dark brown. Where duck, did I miss you? Oh, thank you, Groki. Yes, where duck, I missed you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, joined too late for painting, but might be staying mainly for the music. Cool. Can I can I turn it up for you? Just one notch? Maybe not. It's a little much. Hope you enjoy it though, and welcome in. Sorry I missed you, where duck. Um, I do these pretty much weekly, so you can always plan for the next one and paint along, or just come for the vibes. Yeah, please enjoy the chat. They're all very friendly here. Be nice, chat. <laughs> you always are. Look at that. Groki has a little uh, duck emote for you. Hype, hype, hype. You're welcome, Stephanie. No worries. No worries, Patty. Of course. Have a good time uh, wherever you need to go and uh, enjoy your sunflowers later. Everyone got their brown? I gave a lot of time just because I was chatting, but honestly, brown takes a little bit to figure out sometimes. So hopefully you've got it. If anyone's having issues, let me know. I'm going to add um, my... Well, you can do either one. I was going to say my eight first. You could do the big one first if you want. Either one works. I'll just do my eight first because that's what I was going for. So I'm just doing some small circles. Nothing fancy right now. I will be adding some texture and some different shades to them. But for now, I'm just doing a nice dark brown circle. I said circle kind of questionably there because they might be kind of oval shaped if I'm being honest. This one more circular, but you can see some of them are a little oval. So if you want to do some circle, some oval, just call it maybe a messy circle. That would work as well. Any of the above is fine. But you can see not big at all because these are our tiny little guys here. One, two, and again, I'm uh, trying not to worry too much about where they're going. I'm just kind of spacing them out, giving them a little bit of room to, to breathe, you know, room to grow. Not worrying about the stems as much either. Just kind of sticking them anywhere near some stems, especially the ones down here, anywhere you want. I am trying to look at mine to make it kind of the same layout for anyone who wants to follow along with that. Sometimes I do this. Let's try this here. Just in case, because I know some of you really like the exact design, so if you'd like to follow it, you can. But please, no pressure. If it's going to make you feel more pressured to like do the exact design, don't worry too much about it. One, two, three, four. I think there's one. What am I missing here? Missing one here. And then two on the bottom. Yes, that's right. I put two very nice and close together down here. They're little buddies down here. I'm just using lots of pressure on my brush, doing a quick little curve, quick little curve. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Again, nice dark brown just for the base of these uh, sunflower middles. tattoo you're so right it's extra flavor too i think it's just part of the artistic process just let me do my thing mom let me dip in your coffee if i need to oopsie but also extra flavor just not too much okay <laughs> i don't think this paint is toxic but i also don't want to promote trying to drink it thank you <laughs> dark brown no it's okay stephanie i got you i'm pretty good at reading uh autocorrect uh random letters within the word stuff it happens all the time yes dark brown Hey Heather, how are you? Thanks for popping in the stream earlier today. The little painting giveaway. Wish I could have showed more guys. Honestly, I was very uh, occupied. That's why I shut the stream down early. Also why the video was deleted. It was just me. It was just my chin a lot. <laughs> it was me going, hi guys. <laughs> um, I try my best to show you and I know the ones who showed up did see um, a good amount of the giveaway, so I'm still glad I did it, but just in case anyone's wondering, that's it just wasn't a great video. <laughs> I'll do better next time. It was just, I had so many things going on, I wanted to give out the paintings and make sure everyone was getting the paintings they wanted, so it was hard to say, hate everyone on Facebook and also do the, uh, do the actual giveaway, so anyway. How do we make a richer brown Lisa? Uh, definitely some more black. And then probably a little more red to balance it. If you do lots more black, it might just straight turn black. But I find doing black and red kind of back and forth helps making it uh, make it more rich. We actually both had a good laugh. That's so good, Julesy. I'm glad. It's good to laugh at. 
brown or is it really cinnamon or just really sienna? LOL brown is so many given. Oh, it's giving me so many problems, but the same should be said about all colors. All shades of color look different for sure. Um, I wouldn't call it a sienna for sure. I would think sienna is more of like the tan kind of uh, spectrum. Cinnamon, even so as well, a little lighter. I would call it this is what I would call like a chocolate brown, I think. It looks pretty dark on the camera to be honest, but maybe this one up here shows it a little better. It's it's more of a chocolatey, very dark brown. And then what we do is we'll put light, uh, light brown or even like yellow right on top, so. That's what I would call like a chocolate brown, yeah. Sienna is definitely more tan range in my opinion, but you're right, brown is different to everybody. I say it about purple all the time. Purple is very different to everybody. You have uh, bluish tone purples like royal and then or moving to royal purple, more reddish purples, lavenders, like everyone thinks of something different when they hear purple or brown or anything at all. Okay, and I'm just gonna do one more here. I have the nice big, 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 big circle. So again, if your stem doesn't reach all the way, that's cool. Uh, just kind of put this, the middle where you want your flower to be, right? Think more about the flower rather than the stem. So mine is gonna go kind of up here. I would recommend starting smaller than you think. That's always my recommendation when we do like a moon or a sun or usually round objects too, it sounds like. I start smaller and then that way if you need to alter the shape, like maybe curve it out a little more or you just wanna make it bigger, it's easier to make it bigger, right? You can just go little bits at a time, swirling around using your brush to uh, kind of clean up edges as you go. It's easier to make it bigger rather than smaller. I'm gonna measure this out for you just so you can see a rough measurement. Five fingers. I know everyone has different size hands, but you know, this is a regular fist. <laughs> I don't know, regular palm, okay? <laughs> I would say it's a palm size, <laughs> an adult palm, okay? <laughs> Oh, I do, so I don't want to touch that because it's wet. I'm going to make that a tiny bit bigger. I touched it a little. <laughs> Whoopsie. Little bigger. An adult palm. And you know what? The circle or oval doesn't even have to be perfect because uh, we're gonna be adding petals to this, right? You can use the petals to overlap things or kind of move the shape around a little bit. So if you have a little bump or bobble here and there, you don't need to worry too much about it unless you're like me and just uh, wanna fix it anyway. A-type personality. Um, Vicky, I'm new. What kind of paint are you using? It's an acrylic paint. Uh, specifically, if you want to know the brand, it's the Start Academic Acrylic. I buy it at Curry's Art Store in Ontario, Canada. I'm sure you can get this elsewhere. I'm sure you can get academic acrylic. That's just a value, uh, value term. Um, really anywhere. Michael's Craft Store, any local art store, I'm sure they have solutions for you. Heather, under an hour. <laughs> it was maybe 45 to 50 minutes. It was wild. Over 300. Yep. Jill, I added black to my cinnamon round. Perfect. I think that works. Yeah. Heather, burnt umber would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I would say this is more on the burnt umber side. Maybe even a tiny bit darker, but definitely burnt umber era. Yes. Cool. So I'll give another minute, I guess, in case anyone's placing their browns down. And then what we're doing is we're just uh, altering them a little bit. We're going to put some little middles in them. I'll give you a nice close up in the meantime. And you will notice, I'll just point it out now in case anyone's going to ask about it. See, there's a little bit of like overlap here, a little texture on the brown on top of the uh, petals. We're going to do that last. So in case anyone's worried about that, see kind of the stippling on top? We do that as a last step to kind of uh, bring the middle kind of on top of the petals again to put the petals behind. So just so you know, um, we will still do the middles now. We'll do these kind of nice highlighted middles. But later on, we'll move back to the brown and just kind of stipple it around. And it, again, it helps uh, keep the petals kind of inside of the middle. It makes them look very connected. Okay. That is wild. It really was, Heather. <laughs> I was uh, overwhelmed by the positive response we got. And uh, yeah, people were pretty much waiting when I got there and were ready to start choosing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but it was fantastic. So it was good. 
Celine, yes, I was talking a little bit before. I'll try again in a second. I'm gonna teach the next step, Celine, then I can talk a little more about it, like without worrying about the steps. I'll get to ya. All right, so here we go. Here's another close up. So what I did here is I took a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of white, and then that way it sticks on top, as I've said before. And uh, I just kind of stippled that on top. So by stippling, I mean pretty much what we did up here, right? We had a different brush, but it was the same technique. We're using kind of the tips of the bristles and we're going to tap, 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 tap. Uh, and we tap kind of in a circle inside of the circle. So we're leaving a little bit of a dark center, doing a circle inside of our brown circle. Uh, it's a lot easier for this one because it's a lot bigger, of course. You have a little more room to play around. Uh, and then one more thing I'll mention too, this color might mix a little with the brown as you go. That's the point. You can see that it happens here. It gets kind of yellow and then maybe fades a little bit. I think that's fantastic. And that's why we are doing it now while the brown is still a little bit wet. So just so you know, it's expected. Okay, so medium round brush, you can wash it off whenever you're ready. And you're dipping in a yellow and white mixture. So it's still gonna be pretty bright yellow. We're just adding a little white to the yellow to again, keep it a little brighter uh, and to help it kind of pop off of the brown. Again, it will mix a little, but the white's gonna help it stick even more on top. It's gonna be more opaque. Okay, so because these ones are so small, I am trying to just use the very tip of my brush. I don't really wanna spread all the bristles out or else the brush is gonna be too wide for the area. So I kind of move them in together. And then just very carefully, I'm just using the tip and tapping like this. I'll bring this forward in a second just so you can see, kind of comparing to my original here. So you can see it doesn't come off super bright. You can see how it a little, a little bit kind of uh, mixed with the brown as I went to get that little fade. And I tried my best to leave a nice dark brown center. Definitely when I first did this painting, I had a couple that got a little messy and I maybe did like more of a filled in circle rather than an empty circle. If that happens, it's very easy to fix. Just grab a little brown, tap it in the middle, and now you have a nice empty circle. So don't panic if that happens. It happened to me for sure. Where'd my yellow go? There we go. So again, I'm trying to use the tip of the brush, just kind of tapping around. See, it's already happening. My, my bristles are expanding a little too much. And see that ring? It's a lot bigger. It's like kind of filling up the space in a way I don't like. So I can always go back later and grab some brown and just tap it on top to kind of condense that circle if I want. Or I can switch brushes into a nice, you know, regularly tipped medium round brush. That one's just uh, very old. You could even switch down to a tiny brush if you'd like to do that. Um, I find, I just like the texture this one gives off a little more because there are multiple bristles, right? So it's going to give a little more stippling. And the small one, it does have multiple bristles, of course, but there's just less of them, right? So you're gonna get a little less softness in my opinion. So try it if you want, but I'm gonna stick to this uh, medium round brush. Tap, 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 tap. And it's really your choice. Like I kind of like them a little more subtle, but if you want to make them nice and bright, just kind of load on a little more white and yellow on your brush, tap a little more, get things like this versus this. I'm going to dim this down a bit though. I like it a little more subtle for these guys. Questions? Oh yes. So Celine said, um, have any plans to do any more painting? Give, oh, my battery's low. Oh no. Sorry, I am gonna get my charger. I can't let this die or else I can't see any of your comments. Be right back. Sorry, unexpected. Uh... Oh, I can go right here, perfect. Saved. Okay. Um, Celine, <laughs> do you have any plans to do any more painting giveaways in the future? I wish I went. Yes. I realize a lot of you are from out of town, out of province, out of country, out of continent, <laughs> and would have loved to participate in that. Where'd my play go? Over here. And 
And uh, what I'd like to do in the future, Celine and anyone else wondering, is do some sort of like an online giveaway. It would have to be an online auction. I would, there's no way I'd be able to do it for free, right? Like everyone, there'd be no, not enough paintings for everybody. So what I think I want to do is an online auction where you all bid on the paintings. That way you can even like look at what paintings you legitimately want and it's not like a random grab of whatever painting you can get. Um, a good portion of the money would go once again to charity. I would be keeping some of it probably for profit, but also for the shipping cost. Because what I would expect to do is ship all the paintings out to every one of you. I would need to collect your addresses or wherever you want me to ship them to, and I would do all the shipping for you. So that's my plan. Um, I mentioned that, yeah, closer to the start of the stream, and I said, uh, you know, while it's a plan, please don't hold me to it in the next little bit because that's going to take a lot of planning. And also I actually need more paintings because I did give away pretty much all the paintings that I have to give away. So <laughs> I need to grow my library a bit more and also figure out how the heck I will do that in a good way, in a fair way. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that is my plan, Celine. I want to do something like that again, just a little different. So keep out for that. Keep an eye out for that. I'll be sure as usual to announce it and I'll give way more time this time because it'll be much more organized in terms of like a bidding system. Like I'm thinking it'll be up for days, you know, where it's like the whole week you have time to bid and bid whatever you want and then half goes to charity and whatever. So I'll, I'll let you know when that's all figured out. But I, I do need more paintings first of all too. <laughs> I better get painting, you know? Okay, so just to show you an example, um, I think this one's a little bright for my liking very personal preference. If you don't like how bright something is, just go back with your medium round brush or detail brush, whatever you want. I grabbed a little bit of brown. You can just kind of lightly tap it on top and it just fades it away a little bit. It'll kind of mix in. It'll just kind of cover it up a bit. You can see already it just faded away right there. Fantastic. Yeah, Barb, I wish that I lived closer. I would have loved to have gone see the different paintings. Exactly. So I'm hoping to do an online version of that. No, buy a ship and sail the world and deliver. <laughs> world tour! <laughs> I come with my paintings, I just distribute everywhere I go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cool? <laughs> oh man, need a budget for that one, man. <laughs> That's a lot. That'd be so fun though. World tour! Bun on tour! Follow the bun as I go around the world. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so great. Grokey, maybe something like that though. Maybe if I travel, I bring paintings with me. Paintings are hard to travel with, let me tell you. Those 300 paintings, my mom brought a van, a big van. It was almost completely full. I walked, I walked because uh, the paintings were priority in her van. <laughs> so just so you know. All right, just letting you guys know, I'm going on to the big sunflower. It's the same steps. It's just a little bit more stippling so you can just uh, stipple a little bit more, of course, make the circle a little bigger. I make it like a little bigger, a little wider as well, so it kind of fades out into the brown a little bit more. So it's almost like I put a layer and then watch this, I'm gonna grab a little more of the yellow white kind of focus a little more in the middle of that circle so I get almost a brighter center of the circle and then a faded outside of the circle if that makes sense. It just adds a little more detail just by going in a little bit at a time, lightly tapping with your medium round brush. And same thing, if you do a little too much or you don't like the shape of your circle, anything at all, just grab a little brown tap it on top. You can try again or just leave it alone after that. Sometimes I like just leaving it alone once I do the final brown tapping, you know? Just lightly too. You don't want to tap too hard or else it's going to get a little too squishy. If you tap lightly, that involves uh, your bristles spreading out a little bit more and getting a better chance of getting some gaps in between your bristles as they tap so it gets a little more stipply. See that? I'll give you closer. What I'm trying to do is make it a little brighter in the middle of the circle, fade it out as it comes out. So in the middle and on the outside. I'm gonna do that a little bit more. 
I could play with this probably all day. I know when I did this one, I was just stippling, just nice and slow. Really playing with it, getting it the exact way I wanted it. But just for timing reasons, I'm gonna stipple a little bit more, not much. And I do actually have one more step for this big sunflower for you. There's one little tiny thing that I add extra in here. You will see. I think that's good enough. I'll point it out now, I'll teach you it in a minute. There's a highlight, see that highlight? I'll teach that to you in a second here. Yellow and white for petals. Uh, it was yellow, white, and a little bit of blue for petals. Stephanie must have been nice to give away stuff. I don't know much space. Oh, that's what it is, Stephanie. It's uh, my whole closet beside me was completely full. And while it's cool to have that collection, I was kind of like, I could use this for things. <laughs> I have lots of things on my desk here, paint jugs and just like extra canvases I'd love to put away now. So that'll probably be uh, not my weekend because I stream on the weekends, but also I'm away this weekend. Um, but next week I'll be kind of reorganizing my whole space that you don't see. <laughs> Everything over here <laughs> needs some help. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm excited. Nice to give away stuff like that. Yeah, it was nice. Exactly. Like I enjoyed having them just for memories and having kind of a collection, but I know everyone else will appreciate them much more. They'll hang them up. I hang up some of them. I changed... I actually took some down from my walls today, like I do usually change them in and out, but I just think others will enjoy them a lot more. I've had my time with them and uh, you guys can have your time now. Okay, so again, the last thing I'm going to point out here before we do petals, that's going to be our next step, is I do a little bit of a highlight. See this? It's just like stippling only white on the right hand side. You can do either side you want. I just want to do a little something extra on this one because it's so nice and big. So it's the same idea, excuse me, same idea, same brush. Ooh, hello. Nice, uh, nice piano. Uh, same brush, I just washed it off and grabbing a tiny bit of white. And I say a tiny bit because I, I want to stipple it, right? So just grab a little on the end of your brush. You can even tap it on your towel if you need, especially because it's just a nice bright color, right? You can see how bright it comes off. And I'm just kind of tapping that along the right hand side, kind of the middle area so you could say like the outside of the brown middle let's call it that you can tap a little into that yellow mixture there you see what i mean though it's just kind of highlighting that middle area very relaxing oh i like it Just a little something extra. It might be too much for some too. Some of you might just say, ah, I don't like the white there, but I like it as a little highlight. Once again, if you think it's a little bright, easy to just grab some brown, tone it down just by tapping on the outside or on top. You can even use that to kind of blend it out. That's nice as well. There you go. Give you guys a minute or two and then I'll go through the petals with you. Not too many steps left, just in case anyone's wondering for time. We have the petals of our flowers. Uh, we will go back and add a little bit of a brown texture on top of the petals and then just bean the bee. Bean the bee. Can't wait. Uh, Stephanie, I need to purge myself, lol. My sister is usually on my butt about that. I love purging. Um, if anyone can relate during COVID, maybe you went through like a purging phase. That was me. <laughs> I went through like every area of my place here, my little apartment. Even though it's small, like you can still have piles of stuff everywhere. I realized there are piles and like shelves that need organizing and I went through everything. It was just like, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. And just reorganized everything. It was very satisfying. Yeah, I love doing it. Emerald, this is cool. This is like art class, but reimagined for this era. Exactly, Emerald. I'm noting a lot of these tips. I'll try them later on. Of course, Emerald. And in case you didn't know, uh, actually just above your comment there, uh, it'll all be on YouTube too. So it's great that you want to take notes, maybe just for easier reference, but just know that this won't disappear. You can always go back and check it out. So YouTube, yeah. And I think I'll actually save, the, yeah, the VOD will be saved on Twitch too. It'll be available instantly. Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So there you go. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, Emerald. It's just like a nice casual art class. I just think of it more as just like a casual paint along, if anything. I mean, I'm teaching things, of course, but I want everyone to feel like they can do whatever they want as well and add their own twist to things and, and more so just inspire everybody to 
do some art, which I know has been happening. Speaking of doing that, Grok pops in. Oh yeah, if you ever played Tetris, you can stow away a lot of stuff. I play Tetris every day with my dishes. Uh, Stephanie, I'm usually pretty organized, but messy-ish to organize. I get it, I get it. That's kind of like my usual phase, and then I get very organized, and then it's messy organized, and the cycle continues. <laughs> but I need to do a purge. Took next week off. Excellent! So I'll probably be doing that a lot. Excellent. I re reorganized every shelf, closet, cupboard, and drawer in my house when COVID hit. Sharon, that's exactly what I did. Um, and I actually even had things that I had bought, uh, like drawer organizers and stuff, that I never got to using. So it was so great. I was like, finally, I can put these in the drawers and put them in the way I want and put the things the way I want. It was so, ah, uh, the best. <laughs> yep. Reorganizing queen over here. If anyone needs reorganizing, bring me over. I'm down. I love it. Nothing makes me happier. Except for this, probably. <laughs> close second. Close second. Sprite side, what's up? Aaron, are more, um, Aaron is more on my left ear than my right? Oh, really? Is that how it's working? I'm experimenting uh, bright side with a new kind of uh, mic positioning, but I think it's overall clearer. So let me know what you think if you've ever uh, tuned into another tutorial. Usually the mic is up here, so I'm kind of speaking into it now. Hopefully it's working. All right, I think we're good to move on to some petals, everybody. So let's do it. We are once again using the medium round brush. This is like my favorite brush for these petals. It's perfect in my opinion. So any round brush will do, even if it's a little bigger, a little smaller, I would just recommend something with a tip like this. I think it's great. If you do have a flat brush, you could use the flat edge as well. So like kind of if I tried to line up the bristles as if it's a flat brush, use the edge. That will work as well. Uh, let's start with the small, small sunflowers. We'll move to big, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm starting with uh, more of like a kind of golden yellow, let's say, and I'll put some petals on. And then to get all the different like shades and layers, I just stick on some lighter yellow ones right on top, kind of scattered. And then that way it makes it look like there's lots of work, lots of layers when really you didn't do a whole lot of work at all. Secret, secret, secret. Okay, so medium round, you can wash it off when you're ready. And I'm starting with what I call a golden yellow. So that's lots of yellow and the tiniest bit of red, tiniest bit of red. Like you don't even want it to be orange. I think it's more of a golden yellow. It's just like off yellow. I'll show you, lift up this volcano plate for you. See that? It's like just starting to turn. That's exactly what I want. Oh, to me wood or to bright side? There are some symbols on it. I don't know what they mean. Okay. Help me later. <laughs> no, I, sh I should just look up the symbols. I'll remember uh, from Stereo to Mon. Okay. There's no words on this thing. It's all symbols. I don't know. Okay. So here's the color, a nice golden yellow. And I'm just gonna go around using the tip of my brush, kind of like the tip and the, the whole bristles themselves. Um, at an angle, I don't know why I like to do this. I like to demonstrate on my hand sometimes, just so you can see. So rather than going straight at the canvas, I'm going at an angle. See how the bris or the uh, brush is kind of almost getting parallel. It's like angled. And then that way, when you press down, you can see the tip touches, the bristles touch, and you can bring it down like that for a petal. Painty hand, hello. All right, so here we go, angled. So rather than straight at, angled. I like to start at the end of the uh, petal, just brush it down. That's really all. I'm probably making it more complicated than it needs to be, honestly. You're taking the tip, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. You're always trying to go to the center, of course, so I'm trying to go straight into the center of the flower. Boom, boom. I should be making these maybe a little bit tighter because again, what I do is I like to get a base and then what I'll do is I'll put the uh, light yellow on top scattered. So this is like your safe zone in here. You're getting all your coverage here. And then you'll put a nice light yellow on top. Look at that. That's why this brush is beautiful. Look at that. Those are just petals right there just by literally brushing the brush down, 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 down. 
I'll do another one. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. Follow the symbol. Thank you, Brightside. Thanks. Have you ever tuned in for a tutorial? I know you've been here before, of course, but not sure if you've been here for a good old step by step. I do this a couple times a week. There's another. I am, of course, trying to make the petals all relatively the same length. If there's one or two kind of outliers, that's okay. As long as it's mostly round all the way around the edge here, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going with uh, this golden yellow for every single one so far. And then what I'll do is I'll add the light yellow on top. Whee, there they come. Stephanie, and do more painting. Of course, of course, that's what you do with your time off. Reorganize, then paint, then reorganize, then paint. That's what I do. Charlene, where did you get your mic? Uh, it's a blue, the, the brand name is Blue, and I just bought it offline on their online store. Blue microphones. You can just, uh, yeah, Google, Google Blue microphones and they have a whole online shop for you. They shipped it to me in Canada and everything. <laughs> Over the border, all good. Sometimes I go over top to either A, uh, switch up the length of the petals. So if I look in the camera, these guys look super short. I'm just gonna do a set. Oh, not red though. Haha. -ha. Just gonna pick that up. Away with you. Uh, yeah, gonna just go over top. Or if you think they're a little transparent, you could do a second layer, but the next layer will probably help with that anyway. So no worries. Blue Yeti, you got it. It's a Blue Yeti uh, Streamcaster or something like that. It was a package. It came with the arm. Thank you. Spuds, I will check it out after stream. Streamcast. I think it's Streamcaster. It just sounds too close to Dreamcatcher. So I'm like, is that what it is? No, I think it's... Google that and I think it'll correct it for you if it is wrong. Here they come. You're a great inspiration. Oh, thanks, Melanie. I try, I try. I just want everyone having a good time right now. The world's pretty weird still, still. It's pretty weird this year. Thought maybe the weirdness would be gone by now, but it's still pretty weird out here. So just want everyone to have a good time, honestly. Um, so I'm just going around and doing my last two and then I'll, I'll tell you about the big one. It's pretty much the same steps, just larger petals. So just want to talk a little more about it before jumping in. Before we jump right into it. I think they changed up this playlist. There's some good piano vibes on here. I doubt the setting would be on the mic. It's probably open. Oh, great. Fantastic. Because there are a few little notches wood, like four of them. And I know, I'm pretty sure stereo was one of them when I was looking it up. I was like, I'm not going to change it because it's probably fine. I'll look, I'll look at it. PC first and then all this stuff, you know? <laughs> PC Stream Wednesday, by the way, I'll announce. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Mark it down. There are my little ones. So I'm just going to move right ahead to the big one. I think I did take my time compared to you guys for that. Again, it's pretty much the same steps. Um, the only difference is you just want to make sure that uh, these are a little bit longer, of course, right? So you might want to add maybe a little more shape to them, like making more of a tip at the end, maybe pressing down a little harder as you go, and then that way it widens out a little bit, right? I'm still using that nice gold and yellow and I will do something extra to this big one. See how there's like a layer behind, a layer in front and then orange? This is more of orange here. That'll be extra, okay? That's the last step actually for colors. So use the same color, same brush. I'll show you some petals and I'm sure you'll kind of get what I'm getting at here. It's just a tiny bit different. So these are gonna be a lot longer. 
So I'm trying to make sure to kind of leave a tip here. I press down a little harder on my brush. It winds it out as it comes. Just gives it a little more shape. Rather than just a quick brush stroke, I just go a little, a little more concentrated like that. Even that's a little short, I think. I'm gonna make it a little, a little longer. Okay, and I go all the way around. Again, I like to use this as my base. Uh, and I guess the only other tricky part, because it's big, uh, you want to make sure you're really trying for the center, center, center here. You don't want to just say, I'm pointing into the circle in general. You're kind of looking at the center, making sure all of your petals point straight out from the center as best as you can. So if it helps you, I know it helps me, first of all, look straight at the canvas. Second of all, you can rotate your canvas. I kind of like going up to down rather than side to side. So what I do is I like rotate as I go. I'll go like this and just go all the way one at a time. So I'm just going to concentrate on this for a second. I'll look at the comments actually one moment. thought you were going to start at 6. Anvi, maybe time zones? I started at 7. 7 p.m. EST. I think a couple people were saying that today and they realized it was their time zone difference. Because I did double check the event just to make sure and it did say 7 p.m. EST. I'm really sorry if it was mixed up. Um, just know this will be available later if you need to watch it. Stereo is generally preferred, but if you're gonna have the mic off to the side like that, mono will sound better for us. Okay, maybe I still need to just change the placement of it. I'm ooh, I'm still kind of fiddling with that, honestly. I feel like every day I'm doing something a little different there. Because if I put it above me, it uh, it gets lost. It definitely gets lost. The side is much, much nicer, I think. According to everybody, so <laughs> gonna keep it here for now. I hate to be the one that talk about audio. I just want to... oh, no, no, I appreciate it. Again, it's it's a work in progress always. So I really appreciate people speaking up about it. It was it was at the start. Someone said you're very quiet, and I moved it, and it, it got a lot better. So it's not perfect yet, but it's better. So that's good. It's all work in progress. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get these on here, and then I'll catch up on chat. You might get a little overlap too with your other sunflowers. Don't worry. That's what I had. I did too a tiny bit down there. Yep. Uh, sound, video, all of the lighting, all very new to me. So it's always very nice when somebody uh, speaks up. I know it seems uh, like maybe killing the vibe a bit, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I can choose to concentrate as much or as little on it as I want, so it's really up to me. Oops, sorry! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the bad part. If it's right there, I can smack it and hurt your ears. Potentially. Potentially. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna fix up that last one, then we'll go right to the light yellow. Oops. That's all. There we go. So that's just our base. We'll brighten it up with a nice light yellow. Um, there's also stereo mixed down. Yeah, again, new PC and I get all that figured out. My OBS is changing. Nailu T, I'm gonna try to follow. Oh, no worries. No worries, Kaz. I can't wait to see. I didn't realize you were following along, Kaz. Yeah, exactly, Brightside. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, everyone understands. All, all the streamers understand. She smacked us. Ow. Don't be dramatic. Trial and error is different for everyone. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I've been reorganizing for four days. It's like I'm moving. I have three kids. I got rid of tons of stuff. Sold stuff. Redecorated the house. I have paint. Tons of supplies. No art studio. Oh, there you go. Make an art studio. That's kind of what I did. I didn't really have like this big space before just dedicated to art. I'm really liking it. So hi, Erin. I'll have to do this in the morning. Have a good night. You too, Rachel. No worries at all. Enjoy. All right, I'm gonna move right on to the nice light petals because it's pretty much the same steps, just a slightly different color here. We're using the same brush, we're using the same techniques. We are now just using a nice light yellow color on top of our golden yellow, which we have. 
So this is what's going to really, again, uh, brighten up the sunflowers, make things a little more opaque, uh, and yeah, just adding another layer, just adding some fanciness to our sunflowers. So this is where you're going to mix yellow and white together. Yellow and white. So it turns maybe a little lighter, but again, more of the point is that there's white contained in this mixture and therefore it's gonna stick on top a little bit better. So for these, I like to space them out a little more because you can see what happens. It just adds a nice little top layer. We're not gonna cover up all of our hard work. If you have any gaps, you might wanna concentrate these in the gaps, but otherwise, we're just kind of laying them on top. I try to avoid laying them all, you know, spaced out the same because that's going to look a little too patterned. So I try and make sure that every now and then I'll put maybe a couple together or just maybe leaving a bigger gap here and there. And then that way it looks a little more natural in my opinion. But otherwise exact same technique. I'm just using the tip of the brush brushing inward. Maybe you want it overall lighter. You can add a whole new layer of these and just have the golden ones peeking out. It's really up to you as usual. Just telling you what I did. But you can see, I think this uh, this extra step here just really brightens them up. It makes them a little more three-dimensional too because of the layering, right? The layering's so key with these things. But look at that brightness now, it's so bright. Bright and beautiful. Sunny, sunny, sunny. And I'm sure you're going a little quicker now that you're hopefully a little more comfortable with uh, this brush stroke and this technique and the look, all of the above. Yeah, here they come. It's always so exciting when you do like a second layer like this. It just changes the whole look, the whole look of the painting. I started to use a voice meter. So my next life will be something, I guess. Your next live, maybe <laughs> your next life. I want to smell them. The sunflowers, me too. Wouldn't it be nice if there was either like smell-o-vision where I could like let you smell the smells of my painting or you could smell the painting itself. I'm sure you could make that work somehow have to go thanks so much no worries Mert you can check out the video immediately after I'm done or another day it'll probably be on YouTube if you're checking it out another day everyone I'm moving on to my big sunflower exact same thing uh, just using the new color this nice yellow and white mixture but I'm using the same strategy as I did uh, with the kind of golden yellow and with the idea of spacing out the uh, petals just kind of randomly there and once again, you can see how this fills it up. It also brightens up the whole thing, makes it a little more opaque on top as well because we're using that yellow-white mixture. Again, the golden yellow even, you can see mine gets a little transparent here and there, so this really helps uh, keep everything nice and bright and uh, clean, you know? You know? Doo -doo -doo. Live, yes, perfect. Mocap, what's up? You check out Facebook, Mocap? I, uh... I put a setting in there in mocap just in case you're curious about my issue and the scammers, spammers, whatever you want to call them, reduced heavily. One or two still made it through. I saw one earlier today and then one in the chat as I started, despite putting on that setting that you gave me. So I don't know what's up. Not your fault, obviously. It's just Facebook. Facebook platform. <laughs> just can't get it together. Or the scammers are smart and they have, you know. I don't want to give away what I did so they don't get smarter, you know? <laughs> anyway, it's a lot better. James is here too. Welcome in, James. Hello. Painting our little sunflower. You're, get, you're just in time. We're going to do the bee very, very soon. We have like one more thing to do with our sunflowers and then it's bee time. Two more. Two more things. Bean the bee. Thank you for shouting about Grokey. You're always so great at that. Nothing without you, oh my gosh. Especially tutorials, I have no time to show people. <laughs> Just verbally, you know? Shout out James, shout out all streamers in chat. <laughs> oh, 
whole different look now, whole different look with this extra color. I love it. I just want these guys a little brighter. See how they're a little transparent? I think maybe I didn't have as much white in them, so I'm just putting a second layer on a few of them there. That's fine, yeah. And again, I went a little quicker with these. I could have gone a little slower, guys, and really concentrated on, again, the thin tip wide center. That's what makes them look a little more shapely like these, and maybe a little more full if I were to spend a little more time on them. But again, as long as you guys are spending time, that's more what I care about. I'm just watching the time, trying to keep things on pace as usual. I'll give you guys another minute or two. I have one more uh, color step for the big sunflower, and then we just clean up with brown, and then we're on to the bee. Again, just in case anyone needs to time this out. I'm bringing these a little further out to even them out. Questions? Questions? June, finished in the morning. Thanks so much. Yes, no worries, June. Of course. You know where to look, I believe. Have a great evening. Did you say B? I sure did. Just realized tomorrow's Friday. These creepers just start blowing my... Yeah, I'm just screwed up, Emerald, because usually I host these tutorials on a Friday. And I'm like, oh, tomorrow's Saturday. It certainly isn't. <laughs> it's a Thursday today. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Brightside. Yep, shout out Brightside. Thank you. Destiny 2. All right, all right. Thanks, Grokey. I didn't even notice either. I would have said something if I noticed. Not your fault. Okay, so one more uh, kind of just extra step for the big sunflower, okay? See these orange bits? I thought this was really nice to add even just a little more shading. And it is the order I did it in. It was kind of a backwards order, but I did it this way. And I think I, I do like it this way because the orange kind of pops out a little bit more that way. So I'm going to stick with it. I have this kind of light orange just kind of peeking in between some petals. And also maybe in the middle of some petals, it kind of gives a little bit of like a ridge to them. You know, petals, they have a little bit of like an indent up the middle. That was my goal with this, to give a little extra detail because these petals are much bigger, right? So it gives a little more room to uh, get that detail in there. So I'm using the same brush and the color I would, uh, re I would describe this as is a light orange. So we had a golden yellow. I was talking before about, you know, golden yellow is just kind of like off yellow. This is legitimately, in my opinion, a light orange. So we're going to do yellow. A little more red than last time. So remember I said the tiniest amount of red for the golden yellow. I'm doing a little more red this time. So it turns more of a light orange. And I do put a little white in there. A little white. See how it's like a creamy light orange? Yeah because there's a little white. So lots of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of white. And the placement. So again, placement wise, I just do small little bits kind of looking almost in between petals. So by in between, I guess I'm looking at the foreground petals, which are a lot lighter. If there's any gaps, I'm kind of like filling those in just a little, just a little. So using the tip of my brush, it's almost like you're making mini petals, you know, you're just kind of bringing them out like that. And and if you if you wish, you can do this in the middle of any big petals you see. So kind of using the tip of your brush and kind of dragging like that to make a little bit of a ridge in there. Do that again. So right in the middle of that petal there. As much or as little as you like, as usual. I'm just going to whip around, do a few of these. Might even make it a little bit darker, just a tiny bit of a darker light orange. Lil Wolf is here. Hello. No worries, Kaz. Oh no, Kaz, you can actually put it right on top if you want. I think. I know you said you're going to bed. Go to bed if that's the case, but just so you know for uh, later on when you finish this up. If you forgot a layer, just do another one. You're fine. Plop her on top, but have a great night. 
Howdy, little wolf. Yes, little wolf's here. Thank you, shout out. Yes. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, did you get your uh, watercolors, little wolf? I know you said you were excited to receive them, I believe. I don't think you had them yet. Okay, that's about it with my orange. I'll give you guys another minute or so. Of course, Debbie. Yep, always, always. It's always fun to catch me live, though. Again, I think it's, I've said it before, I think it's something special to like have everyone legitimately painting together, all together. It's really cool. Uh, game Trickster, hello. I'll call you Game, what's up? I'm good, thanks. And how are you? I'm just in the middle, not in the middle, I'm kind of at the near end of my tutorial here. Happy to chat as I go. I chat with everyone as I paint along and they're painting along with me. I'm both on Twitch and Facebook, so in case you notice I'm responding to people that you don't see, it's because I'm looking on Facebook Live as well. But let us know how you're doing. I'm doing great. It is for me, yes, exactly. Happy to hear you can watch later. Yep, beautiful. I caught halfway. Do it tomorrow. No worries, Shelly. So relaxing. Thanks for doing this. You're very welcome. Okay, we're just at nine here. I really just have uh, the brown to do and then a little bee. Just a little bee and then we're all set. So once again, as a reminder, I go back to the brown. Just because I do think it cleans up the petals a bit, it brings them more to the background. Uh, gives a little bit of texture to the outside of your brown middles. You might even have some petals that overlapped by accident or mine in my case gapped a little bit so I can now fix that up. So I'm still using that medium round brush. I just washed it off. All right. And you're just doing stippling again. This time you're just concentrating on the outside of the brown center. So you're kind of lightly tapping a little on top of your petals now. I'll show you a close up what this looks like. I think it does make a big difference and therefore I think it is important. See how it stipples on top now? I accidentally covered up my yellow center a bit, but I'm looking at the outside here. It stipples on top of the petals. It makes them look a little more behind the center as if the center is kind of, um, yeah, tucking in the petals behind it. So I think it is important. Just be careful, unlike me, and try not to cover up your yellow center, which you spent so much time on. I was just messy. But yeah, just kind of tapping around. And you know what, maybe you don't feel like you need to do this. Maybe you like your centers more clean, for example. You do not have to do this, but I think it's a nice little step. Again, that texture. And you're doing okay, game. That's good, that's good. Hopefully this is making you go from going from okay to good, good to great, etc. You paint it all, let me know if you like. Didn't know you was on. Oh yeah, Brightside. Facebook is my main gig here. We got about a hundred people watching me right now on Facebook. And it's where most of my following is. Love you guys. So I do both. Why not both? Chat my paintings and glue in the dark. Whoa! I gave away some black light paintings today, Spuds. I forgot I even had them. And someone pulled one out and said, This is pretty. I was like, Oh, well, if you have black lights, it'll uh, look even better. <laughs> and the guy actually had black lights, so he's like, Do you have any more of those? I was like, Yeah, I do. So I gave him another black light painting. It's cool. I don't have any black lights in my black lights in my home, but I guess some people do, and they get some extra cool paintings because of it. That's pretty neat. I'd love to try glow in the dark paint though. I think that'd be very neat. Almost there guys, then we're just doing that little little bee. Again, I know you can hardly see a difference probably from my camera, but in my opinion, in real life, in real life, no, just close up, makes a big difference. Again, that texture on the outside. I'm sure you can see if you're following along with me. Nice apron, but oh, thank you, James. Yeah, I'm uh, I th were you here for that? I think Groki linked it anyway. You can see where it came from. Shout out Terry. Yay! I'm finally wearing it. I got this like two weeks ago, probably a week ago, and it was just too pretty. I didn't want to wear it and put paint on it. And then I said, nah, you gotta do it. You gotta wear it. My mom actually encouraged me. Shout out mom again. Um, but yeah, so here I am with the apron. 
It was a gift. Again, I didn't even make it myself. There we go. I'll give one quick minute, then we just have one last step of the little bee to do. Bean the bee! Oh, let's see. Just got back from a 23 kilometer bike ride. We'll do this tomorrow on Sunday. Sandra, I don't blame you. <laughs> wow, <laughs> good for you. Um, enjoy it when you, when you do it. I'm still doing the round and the brown. No worries, definitely watch on YouTube. Of course, Linda. And Linda, just so you know, I do stick around for a few minutes, at least a few minutes after, if you have any quick questions, if you do want to finish up with me. So no rush at all, but you're welcome. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, Sheila. Invite my friend. Excellent. Always fun. You invite some friends virtually. Yes, live is better. Did I hear Facebook? Yep, I haven't touched Facebook in years. <laughs> some of you guys on Twitch say that, and then some of you log into your Facebook. I get you to log into your Facebook after years of not being there, and then uh, you can see what's up there. Because again, it's uh, it's quite the group here. Again, we're floating around 100. We were like 120 earlier, so quite the group there. They're friendly as well. Everyone's friendly. <laughs> James. <laughs> James. I forgot Facebook on stream. Yeah, they have Facebook Live. So when you open them... Yeah, that's what I thought, James. Yeah. Shout out to Aaron's mom. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. Who sent the imprints? Uh, just a fan on Facebook. Her name is Terry. She made three of them. And this is just one of three. So. Very kind of her. Very kind. I don't even know if my parents are here, guys. You're all shouting them out and I don't know if they're watching. Hello, parents, if you're here, but <laughs> all of Twitch is saying hi. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bee. Just I want to make sure we're not uh, going too far over here or two hours. So here's my little bee. I'll try and get you as close as possible. My laptop is right here, so I'll try and... Ugh. Sorry for the angle. But he's just a cute little guy, a little, little bean of a bee. I literally start with a bean shape and just add some colors on top, okay? So pretty much uh, going between yellow and black, kind of stippling it on. Uh, you can note the head of the bee is just kind of tucked into the body here, so it's not even really separate. It's just a small little black area. I do a couple black lines for antenna, some little legs, and then I just use some light gray and white for the wings, and that's really all there is. So here we go. Um, with all that said, yeah, I start with white, actually. I do a bean shape. It just helps me get a little more confident with the shape of the bee. Okay, so white on the teeny tiny brush, by the way. I have switched to the little detail brush. It's our last little step. It's usually the last little detail. And I start with a cute little bean shape, like a kidney bean. So like a curve on the top, curves around on the sides, does a little wiggle on the bottom. By wiggle, I mean it kind of comes up and then back down. Bean shape. That's a little wide, actually. I want them a little bigger. A little wider. I like my little fat bees. Cute! So I just kind of rounded out the top a little bit more. It's just floating wherever he wants. I float him above the big flower. Maybe he's eyeing it. He's like, should I land? Should I not? I don't know. My sky is my favorite part. Can't mess it up. <laughs> oh, Becky. Yeah, feel free. If you don't want to add the B, it's kind of like a cute little extra step, step in my opinion, but I think he's cute. Thank you, Twitch chat, for suggesting earlier. Love this. Thank you. You're welcome, Teresa. Sandra. Yo, Sandra says my Facebook live count said 213 went to this event. Amazing. Sandra, thanks for letting me know. I can't see the stats sometimes, so thank you. Thank you. It's very, very cool to hear. Uh, I know she did, right, James? Crazy. And again, each one was different. Like, this one has the toast here. All the way down. There's others with my face on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the heck? Again, what? I don't know if my parents are here, but shout to the void. That's fine. I'm sure they hear you. I'm sure they all hear you. <laughs> thick, thick bee. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Chunky bee. All right, once I have the bean shape, this is just, again, confidence in the shape and the placement. I can now take some color. Let's start with yellow, actually. I don't know why I grabbed black first. Just wiping off my brush, grabbing yellow paint, plain yellow. And I'm just going to dot it on in little stripes. So I'm just kind of maybe starting at the butt of the bee, doing a quick little section of yellow, leaving a gap, doing another section or stripe of yellow, just tapping it on. And I like to tap it because I do think it adds a little bit of fuzziness to the bee. Again, that texture. See how it's separate? I know it's a little hard to see with the white and yellow, but there's stripes there. 
two bees, he might need a friend. Are you Bob Ross, Barb? I'll do the one all out a second one. You know it. I can't say no. I can't say no to a Bob quote. <laughs> Thanks for the texture commands, everybody. Okay. Next, you can uh, wipe off your brush, grab a little black paint, and you're just, again, tapping like this and you're now tapping in between the yellow. So you're essentially covering up the white. Again, the white was really just a confidence thing. You're confident where you're putting the bee with the bean shape. Now you're just kind of covering up with these stripes. And uh, I do try my best to get a black, at least black on one side, because that's going to be the head of the bee. When I looked up little bumblebees online, at first I was like, the head is kind of separated. I did like a separate circle for it, but I noticed uh, the bees, their, their heads are really tucked in. They're just like, cozy you know they're just like sunk into their little necks so it's really as if you're just kind of covering one end with black you know so once again a nice close-up so that's going to be my head right there it's just tucked right in lol shout out to aaron's void parent. they're not void you're shouting into the void what did you say earlier a fun nice troll mm. See how it fades right into nothing? That's just what you're looking for, Bob. We don't really know what they're, <laughs> where this goes. I'm not sure we really care, Bob. You can have anything you want in the world. Once you help everyone around you, you get what they want. So many good Bob quotes. Okay, I'm just going to add some little antenna and legs, and then just lastly, the, the uh, wings on top. Sharon, I have an apron with your picture on it. Oh my gosh, you have the one with the... Uh... Yeah, just the big profile picture. She did the logo and then my profile picture right below it. It was so cool. Aaron, can you bring the bee closer? Sure, Charlene, I'll do that when I do the antenna and uh, feet here. Legs. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I've got to go. No worries, Kellyanne. Finish the bee. You're the best. You're welcome, Kellyanne. You're the best. It was so nice to see you. So for antenna, guys, I'm just uh, using my detail brush, wiping on my plate to line up my bristles to get a nice thin tip on the, on the uh, brush. I'm going to do two little quick lines coming out from the head, so just kind of coming off. I'll bring this closer in a quick second to show you. I do, there are six legs on a bee, so I do three longer ones and then three real short ones as if they're getting both sides. You know, you're getting the foreground legs are going to be longer, and then you get just the tiny ones that are the background legs kind of peeking through. Here I come with a close-up. Again, my laptop is here. This is such a botched system due to Facebook being its messy self today. Stay there. Okay. And I could make that a little more even. I could be covering a little more black there, it looks like. One moment. That's better. To review, I did the two little antenna on the head there. Three longer lines, three very short lines as if they're kind of in the background there, right? Yelling into air. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try with you anymore. Holy crap, somewhere there's a super evil anti air and it's crap. Wait, what? For the painting? This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Bright Side. All right. One more step. I'm gonna open this up, make sure I'm not missing anything. This is such a beautiful. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Again, sorry, Facebook platform is frustrating. Last step. I need to move this again to show you a close up. Um, a nice light gray for the wings. I'm just going to show you they are a little messy, and that's okay. So we have one in the foreground, so it overlaps with the black there. It's kind of just little ovals, and then one is in the background, so it's just going to stop at the edge of the B and kind of V shapes out. It's like a V shape in total, right? And it's all using a nice light gray color. So same, same brush, teeny tiny brush. Mix lots of white with a tiny bit of black. And I went with the light gray because I thought white was a little bright. And of course, dark gray would be too dark. <laughs> there you go. So I landed on light gray. Uh, honestly, like uh, uh, wings, I would say, are more transparent. And I think light gray kind of represents a transparency. So that's why I went for it. So again, to review, I'm doing one wing kind of uh, tilting to the left a little bit. It kind of overlaps on top of the yellow or the black a tiny bit because it's kind of like on the one side of the bee in the foreground. And 
and then the other one kind of tilts up to the right and it's going to end just at the very edge of the bee because it's kind of going behind the bee, right? Now my wings did get a tiny bit messy because I just dipped right into the black paint of the bee, but here we go. Hopefully you can see him buzzing around. It's Bean! Welcome Bean! Yay! It's beautiful! Thank you so much, Brightside, for that lovely pun. It's a sweet painting, a real honey. Please don't bzz me. It's beautiful. Oh, you guys are too, too much, too much. Ta-da! Oh, Psycho's here, hello. Sorry, I didn't even notice that purple, purple name blended right in. Hello, welcome in. Okay, everybody, everybody painting along. Thank you for painting along with me. Last tiny step, sign your paintings. I need to take my advice into account. A lot of people pointed out during the giveaway today, they said, you don't sign your original paintings. I was like, I guess not. I need to take my own advice into account. So I'm gonna note that for next time. I forgot my Sharpie, even though I said I'd bring it. Sorry guys. Put your initials there, sign it up, and that's it. That means you're all done. It means you've claimed it as your own and you're finished your painting. So very important last step. Please do, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna hang around as usual to answer any questions if you had any issues with anything, if maybe anything didn't work out for you. So a little brighter over here, it looks like. I always just note the differences just so you can see. A little more white in these yellows, that's all it is. Um, Right, answer any questions. If anyone had trouble with anything, let me know, or just any questions in general. I'm happy to talk to you guys for a bit. Um, for those who are ending off, just thanks so much for coming. Thanks for tuning in live. It's always a pleasure to tune in live with everybody. Uh, if you'd like uh, more info on my next tutorials, if you're on Facebook, go to the events tab. I already have one booked for next Friday. Next Friday, not, to to not tomorrow Friday, but next Friday. Nice farmhouse painting. Um, if you'd like to know more about what I do during the week, I stream on Twitch. I'm gonna once again plug Twitch here. Feel free to check me out, twitch.tv slash Paints. It's a lot of fun. You can see I have lots of laughs with my chat. Back me up, chat. I'm here all the time, right? We have a great time, right? 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 Um, <laughs> yeah, I just stream during the days I just paint. Uh, I paint tutorial paintings like I plan them out on stream. I'll paint my own personal stuff. I do like fun challenges and games and stuff painting related. So check it out if you want to be part of the fun during the day. Um, otherwise, I stream on both Facebook and Twitch for the tutorials. Um, if you'd like to, oh, if you'd like to post any photos of your finished paintings, I highly encourage you to do that. I'm going to go back to the event page right now and open it up for posting. So just give me like two minutes and then you'll be able to post your beautiful paintings there. So again, the event page, go to the events tab and go to today's event. You can do that. For those on Twitch, if you go to my Discord, Discord community, you can go check out the art share. Yes, did it. Check out the art share channel and that's where everyone shares their general art, general art but also their tutorial art so it's always fun to see all of them put together there um for those who are looking for it one of you asked for a paypal earlier if you'd like to support me financially I, amazing thank you i have a paypal link and i have an interact e-transfer link that's more common in canada for e-transfers and then paypal is kind of worldwide thank you for your support um this is a free tutorial though so if you're not able to do that uh that's totally fine and it's completely understandable it's uh tips are never expected they're just always appreciated so it's there for those who want it um I mentioned the next tutorial. Um, I think that's all, guys. If, if there's anything I'm missing, please let me know. But uh, I'm just going to open up this uh, page for posting and then I'll check the comments again. Again, I'm hanging out for a bit. Anyone can post. Yes. Approved. Thank you. Thank you so much, Facebook. There we go. All right, let's see what's going Oh, yes, here they come. Here, thank you. Hello. Oh, so many. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, Charlene. Yeah, I brought the bee closer. Let me know if you need another close-up. I'm happy to do that. Thank you, Aaron. I've got to go. I will finish the... Oh, yeah, I read that from Kellyanne. There comes my fruit fly friend right on cue. You're welcome, Charlene. Oh, it did help. Excellent. Kim, this is beautiful, and you make it so we can all try painting. You're welcome. Um, wonderful evening. Yep, and I'll paint this tomorrow. Excellent, Kim. Sandy, you're welcome. Stephanie, don't like my sunflowers so much, gonna try and fix them semi pro Of course, Stephanie, if you wanna DM me any photos just so I can see what's going on, I'm happy to help you. Aaron, you make my stomach hurt from laughing. <laughs> Good thing, bad thing, uh, <laughs> sorry, you're welcome. <laughs> 
Uh, Vicky, I need to redo it. Vicky, yeah, if you need any help, PM me a photo. That's the best way for me to see what's going on. And I can give you some very specific tips. Feel free, feel free. Andrew, thanks. You're welcome. Lisa, thank you. Another great painting. Love this one. You're welcome, Lisa. I loved it too. Heather, thank you. See you next time. Have a great morning, Heather. Have a nice evening. You too, Andrew. Uh, Nancy, thank you very much, Aaron. Like five exclamation points. You're welcome, Nancy. Five exclamation points. I love the excitement. Stephanie, thank you so much for this painting. Uh, I was having a crappy day and this made me feel calmer. Excellent and better. So thank you again. You're so welcome, Stephanie. I know I, I was PMing you, obviously, and I know what happened. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I could just give you any sort of light at the end of the confusing day. No worries. Still want to show you my product. Yeah. DM me. No worries. Linda, have a nice evening, everyone. Thank you, Erin. Yes, evening. Nice evening to everybody, and you're welcome, Linda. You're welcome, Stephanie, again. Of course, of course. Linda. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. Winky. Uh, Sharon, thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a great weekend. See you next week. See you next week, Sharon, as well. And Charlene, thank you, Erin. That was fun. And you're welcome. And I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just shout out. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow, guys, too. I'm not doing any tutorials, but I'm doing a quick little, like, four to five hour painting in the morning and going to about one or two o'clock. So if you want to hang out for that, be there. Vicky, you're welcome. Yes, yes. Okay. Twitch, you got some stuff. True. Thank you. You're welcome, Maria. Thanks for popping in. This was great, and yes, when you've made it, uh, when I've made it, lol, it's been interesting for sure. Yeah, Emerald, for sure. Take some time on it. That's the whole thing. You can see people are all saying they might go to YouTube after just to review things and <clears throat> go over top of some things and brighten them up, whatever you need to do. <clears throat> Sorry. There's Discord, socials. Thank you. Jilzy, you're welcome. You too. Pee Pee the fruit fly, maybe. <laughs> Do we want to name our fruit fly that just has... He's been here for days. I don't have food around here. He just hangs out in here, though. It's, I don't understand. Oh, man. Oh, much, many more thank yous. Sheila, good night. Thanks for popping in. Again, Philippines, right, I believe? Yeah. Teresa, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I had chatter... Chatteritis? What are those, Terry? Am I missing something? Nice painting again. You're welcome, Terry. <laughs> not sure. Maybe that was a mistype. I'm not sure. No worries, though, Terry. Uh, Melanie, how do you post on the event page? Oh, just uh, just like writing a post. So if you want to write anything, I think it'll say post a photo as well. You can have the just like on any Facebook timeline and stuff. Um, just just write post, I believe. Um, let's see. If you go to the discussion tab, I think that might be it. You need to switch to discussion rather than about, and then there's the little write something and you can add a photo if you want. Hope that helps. Uh, Bev, thank you so much. Awesome as usual. You're welcome, Bev. I'm glad you had a good time. Fwok, uh, thank you for the paint. You're very welcome. Charlene, have a great weekend. See you next Friday. See you then. And before then too, if you want Twitch, Twitch Friday and like all, all week next week, right? So. Feel free to pop in. Rio, you're welcome. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I see Terry. Chattery. Gotcha. Chatteryitis. Okay. Laryngitis. Okay. Okay. I see. Becky, thank you so much. You literally made my night. Oh, I'm so glad. I don't love mine, but I'll post a pic. Didn't come out as horrible as I thought. That's that's kind of a nice goal, honestly. Especially if you're just starting painting or you've only done this a few times. Like, just surprising yourself, I think, is a really cool thing. Again, I said it at the start. Um, it's never it's never great to like worry too much about getting exact because even mine isn't exact. Even though I did this less than a week ago, replicated the exact same way. There's always going to be slight differences. I just used brighter colors. Apparently, brighter yellow. The green tones are a little different. I like the greens in this one better though. So you just learn as you go. You just learn as you go and you get better every time. Not chatty today. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Till now. I see. All good. Well, I'm glad you uh, chatted at the end there, Terry. All good. <laughs> it's nice to see who's here. There's no way to really see who's tuning in if they're not chatting. Anyway, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> you do what you undo. Chill night. Just don't chat. It's all good. Uh, Barb, use a little red wine vinegar and then put plaster crack on top, poke holes in it, and it'll get rid of your fruit fly. Thank you. I, I've been doing that. There, oh, he's sitting right there. He's right on my microphone. Um, 
I do it in my kitchen when I get fruit flies and it works fine. I just, I'm, I'm just confused why he's right here. There's no food in here and my kitchen's way over there. Hello, friend. Wait, I'll just let you rest. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you're not scuttling around there making noise for everybody. Okay, Facebook, you've gotten pretty quiet here, so I'll give one more minute if you wanna, if anyone's like waiting to speak up here. If there's any questions or like urgent things. Otherwise, uh, I've got lots of thank yous, all good. <laughs> Becky, thank you, you're positively amazing. You're welcome, appreciate it, of course. Good night to you too. You're welcome, Diana. Yeah, Barb, I use like apple cider vinegar. I find that helps. And then I make a little cone shape with some paper and they get trapped. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I don't like doing it. <laughs> it's not like, yes, but it helps. This one can hang out. He's, he's calm and cute. I wish you could see him. Just hanging. Fixing my sunflowers out here to talk. No worries, Stephanie. Thanks, it was fun. You're welcome, Sally. For sure, Stephanie. Okay, yeah, I think I think Facebook, you're you're yeah, a lot of you have signed off now. Almost no more comments. Okay. So Facebook, I'll sign off. Again, if you need to review the video, it'll be up immediately after this, and then I'll post it up to YouTube. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow before I leave on my weekend getaway, okay? Okay. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody. Again, I'll be online on Twitch tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll be away for the weekend, and I'll see you next week. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Bye, Facebook. See you later. <laughs>